Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Greenfield's Finest Podcast. I'm your host, Michael Z-Bird Zidell. With me, as always, all the boys are in the building. we got my main man, Angry John Rosado. What up, John? What's up? we got Concrete Cock up in here. Hey, what's up, man? A little one. <laughs> my main man, my co-host, Moneyline Welsh. What up, Moneyline? Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> I wanted to see what you'd say. You should go, hi, Mike. Looking at me like you want to fuck me. Maybe I do. No, no, there you go. <laughs> this heat won't I'm, break, dude. Maybe. It just broke in the downpour. Me and Shoei came well, in. Oh, yeah. It's uh, doing yeah. us no good at 7 o'clock at night. It needs to break during the day. The yeah. 20, the, the, Tomorrow's going to be a beautiful night, day, right? Jack. 76 for you, buddy. Is it really? It's yeah. Nice the heat has been broken. We, uh, I'm calling yeah. it off. Yeah, tomorrow's going to be fucking nice. A uh, couple quick updates. So... Surely, just yeah, I just talked to Shirley before he came in. He's gonna be doing the comedy show at 12 on August 30th. So, I've got a great lineup. It's me, Shirley, Samantha Bentley, and I think special guest Monty Rabner coming down there. It's gonna be a good time. Uh, Trevor, Austin Austin on too. There? Trevor Austin's on her too. Um, tickets are gonna be down at 12. I already picked them up tonight. I'm gonna be dropping them off tomorrow. Um, we got another comedy show September 21st out at Comptra Theater. Uh, me, Jeff Conkle, Bill Crawford. Uh, tickets available now online at ContraTheater.com. Also, t- if you want to come on the Bird Bus for the 24th, like buy tickets for it because, like, right now no one's really buying tickets. So, like, if there's not interest for it, like, we'll, they'll just have a regular Bird Bus. But they thought it'd be a good idea. So did I. Thought it'd be like a lot of fun. So I think it, it still can be. But go on BirdBus.com. It's August 24th. It's 8 p.m. It says Greenfield's Finest Podcast on there. And then there's going to be a couple more comedy shows coming up, but we want to drop everything on you at once. And uh, please hit that like button. If you didn't subscribe, please subscribe. Please. <laughs> please. We're not going to be doing this much longer, I'll tell you that. <laughs> we're at wit's end. It's been five fucking years, and we got 2,900 subscribers. The fucking listens are going down. What are you doing? You can just stop listening? What do we say? Fag Summertime, too much? dude. People are on vacation. <laughs> yeah, I don't... Not, well, I'm going to compare... I good thing I know how to do analytics, and I looked at this time last year, and there's less people listening this year. And that's not were, good for business. That's, that's not, not good. good. So we're yeah. on a downward spiral. Yeah, thank God I drove what. in in a monsoon. Oh, yeah. dude, that's <laughs> insane. <laughs> that died. rain was yeah, that rain was rough, we're, man. We're, we're gonna give you everything we got for the next so long, but you need to spread the word about Greenfield's Finest Podcast. Yeah, get your shit together. And you guys have been doing a great job already. I we appreciate every listen we get. Now I'm depressed. You just can't like bash everybody and then be like, you guys been doing. Great, like no, stick to your guns. Yeah, <laughs> either fuck them or we love them. You know? Yeah, <laughs> I do love them. Yeah, I mean, they, yeah, at least someone more. listens. All hundred of them. But it's just we've been stuck at the same number forever. It's like, did any of the new people not tell anyone? <laughs> yeah, someone told you about it. Tell someone else. Oh, pay it forward. Yeah, yeah, dude. It's like since last year, no one's. Everyone's like, dude, shut up, about Greenfield Science Podcast. <laughs> Too many people are listening. It's like yeah, podcasts don't like work like that. We'll still be. It'll be the same. Yeah, yeah. If we get bigger, we'll keep doing it. If we, uh, Brandon Ayuk is not a Pittsburgh Steeler still. But he's gonna yeah. be. He's gonna be. Bro. Adam Schefter said so. Did you, did you see the one? Schefter said they're what? They're back in talks. I uh, dude. I, I think he's either, new tweet from. Schefter. I think he's yeah. either going to us or the Browns. It was us Browns or Patriots. Yeah, yeah us yeah. Browns or Patriots, and I'm, I think Ayuk. I mean, who would you rather go to? I, I'd say I Deshaun Watson probably yeah, is a better quarterback. Does it? Yeah, he said he doesn't want to go to either of them. Uh, oh, he doesn't want to go to Browns or Patriots. Dude, that is the loudest cup of all time. They got fucking levers, ice. I'm sorry. They shifted fuck. gears on that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's it's a beautiful fucking roll. Wow. Right? It's, it's, how many odds does that thing hold? Sixty four, baby. Sixty four. What do you got in there? I got it's a mixture of blue Pyrade with lemon lime Gatorade and just really what? good. Really good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get right, shit cut you off. Blue Pyrade, lemon lime Gatorade. Well, here's what happened. I ran out of like I was running out of lemon lime Gatorade today at lunch, so I went and bought a blue Pyrade. You know what I mean? With ice in it, like a fountain drink style with sheets. So I just dumped it in there, mixed it together, and I still got it. How's it working? Good. Dude, nice. you want to tell him about your conspiracy theory? This dude's been mad at me all week. He thinks I've been fucking with him while he's drinking it. Like, I step on the gas. Dude. Like, I'm intentionally... <laughs> it's 90 degrees out, and I'm intentionally jerking the gas when he drinks, so it spills all over his face. So you just... Like, you got as soon as he told me that, you know what I wanted to do? Yeah, now he, like... Every time. Do it. Yeah. 
So so we got lemon lime Gatorade, blue Powerade in there. So you're you're just having the AIDS mixed together. Yeah, and that's head fucking head. nasty work. Look how hydrated he looks. Yeah, <laughs> dude, I've never been more hydrated. Andrew's a uh, the East, in the morning. I start off with uh, one of those hydration packets. There's a little bit of that in there too. Uh, so there's some remnants of everything in yeah. there. Yeah. Make so what, Johnny? I, what am I gonna do? Dump out the cold Open stuff? Open that thing yeah. up. Let me see how wide the mouth is on that fucking thing. <laughs> That's insane. Are you wow. sure it doesn't that's twist a, that's the top? About a three inch opening there, huh? No, <laughs> no like the very other part of the top. Uh, no. Mine's a little smaller than that. Mine's that's just three like inches. That's at least two. It's about two and a half. Yeah, yeah it's it's about, about two and a half hole. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You spill it all over yourself every time you drink? I've had. Only when yeah, John's driving. Yeah. Only when I step on the gas intentionally <laughs> to fuck him over. Shirt all over. Shirt all, all, all Monday. Yeah. <laughs> Sticky all day. Where'd you, would you fucking shake that thing down at the flea market? No, I fucking... I don't know where it's it came... It's a Stanley. I know. I know what a Stanley is. Yeah. I I fucking was using this piece of shit one forever, and, like, it wasn't staying cold. And then one day I looked in my cupboard, and this was in there. I must have bought it, like, fucking years ago and just forgot about it. And so the price tag on it and everything before Stanley went through the roof. So you put it in the rotation. Well, it's all I use. I drink he it uses it at the house. At the house. All when day I'm, When I'm playing college Everything he drinks Goes to that Stanley Yeah right Like I'm playing college football You I'm loading like, a pop in that thing? I don't drink pop no more No pop ever Never Alright Never you Can't tell bro <laughs> I've been off the pop for a minute But I'm on this <laughs> and, 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 Well I drink a ton of water at home You know what I mean? So I fill it up Throw a hydration packet in or two and give it The a, Gator and the Power mixed is Not With the hydration <laughs> yeah. pack yeah, well, I mean, what was I going to do? Dump out the, the cold Gatorade that was still in there and waste it? On a hot day like today. Yeah, you don't waste beverages when You can't it's hot waste like a hot day. You're, like, you're, you're I'd have regretted trouble. it right now. I'd been, man, yeah. I got a little bit left in there. But I don't no, taste I, no more lemon lime in here. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah I, I'm in a pickle. <laughs> I, dude, so you said you went to Sheets? Yeah. I went, I went to Sheets today. I had to go uh, pick up uh, a floor sample up in Oakmont. And as I'm going up there, I'm like, I'm driving past Oakmont Country Club. People are out golfing, having a great day on a fucking Monday, drinking transfusions. I'm fucking covered in paint and fucking dirt driving up here to get a fucking sample. I wanted to drive off the Halton Bridge. <laughs> I'm going to end it right now. Yeah, like this is when I eat. Like, look at, like, look at what did I do enjoy. wrong what? that I'm in this situation and these people are out on Oakmont enjoying their Living fucking their day life. every every tuesday uh, risotto, risotto gonna drive to diamond run yeah and we're coming from sheets and we're covered in in sweat and dirt and I, i'm okay with it but like risotto is like definitely an avid golfer and like he drives slow and watches that's what i was doing i was like going through oh, come on, like, i watch dudes play I a can little see bit his heart out a little bit dude, uh, dude it's great it's like, it dies brutal. just a little bit every I, tuesday i get him a place up here dude know? you know what dude, then we like drive like because we kind of drive around the pnc parks and i'm like dude i'd love to take a day game in hang out in the north shore during yeah. the day yeah. yeah when it's nice out watch a Bucco game guys are on jet skis guys are on chip that's what i always said zebra but that's zebra this dude was just was cutting the fucking mon in half the other day i'm like look yeah, at him yeah you're out there on a tuesday at fucking 11 yeah. a.m no one else is there you yeah. got the whole river he owned yourself. the river no that's salt life when i was in the hospital i just used to watch dudes on jet skis go by all day i'm like oh this guy having time of his life i'm not a river jet ski guy but like he was at a better position than i was yeah, <laughs> yeah you're on your deathbed yeah. you're on a jet ski you're in mercy hospital detoxing off heroin and you're looking out that little window you see a dude on a jet ski you're like man i bet he's going to get heroin i wish I, i'd do anything i hope he knows a ziploc bag yeah like i probably did two jet skis worth of heroin this year yeah <laughs> two jet skis worth of heroin it's crazy uh it adds up so i you i mean just the the if, hit. If they're robbing, if they rob the Niners, okay. Right. right. If they can afford them, is he? What's he gonna get? Forty million? That can't. That can't happen. No. They'll so, never pay him because they're starting to like we finally get below. Jefferson and well, his boy, the other dude catching three hundred balls after practice. Five hundred. Yeah. They yeah, yeah, got Corlin Sutton. Yeah. The Steelers? Or no, um, no, Van Jefferson. Who's the other dude? Uh, the the fast kid got hurt. Calvin Austin. Austin. He says he hurt hurt. I don't think he's the hurt one. Who got carted yeah, off Roman the field? Wilson's yeah, Roman Wilson one. got uh, hurt. They right. said yeah. like two weeks. That was just an ankle sprain, though. Yeah. Oh, they cart yeah. people off the field for anything. They should have made Especially them walk off the field. In, in like fucking training camp, they, they'll, if you have a headache, they cart you off the fucking field. You know. I, mean? I don't know if Ayuk's that good. Ayuk's so, pretty good. So uh, here's what. So here I'm gonna 
this is like one of the times I I will sort of agree with you. I think it's hard to define a player when they're play, like playing you in, a, in a system. Yeah, yeah, but so but you got to look team. at like dude. He smoked at, the Steelers last year. He, never, you're right. He smoked. Yeah, them. he did. Yeah, but he's he opposite Debo. No, but I I think that yeah, but Debo is not what he used to like. But he still garners so much attention. You know what I mean? So but he garners more attention than Debo does. Now, yeah, last year he yeah. definitely did. I seen fucking Filipponi who just like trolls the troll, but he was saying we were like the Niners were asking for a one Pickens and Fryer moves. Like, there's no what are we talking about? That's the way they ask. Yeah, yeah. He, here t- then we won't have any offense left anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Idiot. Dumbest, dumbest thing I've ever heard before. Is he the worst of all time? He just does this so people I, have this I, reaction. I, They're probably asking for major draft picks. I, I think no, I heard it's High Smith. That's I what I heard. High Smith. I heard it's High Smith. Oh, in the end. Yeah. We could spare the end, though, right? Yeah, you could. Spare I mean, High Smith is a fucking. Didn't they stock just draft going, another one? Oh, yeah, we got a. Well, nah, he's he plays middle, right? Wilson. Oh, the dude that, that real good dude we drafted yeah. in the third yeah. round. Well, they, they resigned that dude that's going to back them both up. They just resigned. And they got, but Harbick plays the outside yeah. too, right? No, he's inside. Harbick's inside. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, but yeah, that that's what I heard. It's High I Smith. Think. I could be wrong. But like, dude, be honest. I'd rather give up. A draft pick and give up, like give up a second round draft, a second yeah. and third and give up High Smith because High Smith's like he's pretty solid. Yeah, he's good. He's definitely good. Dude, he's like top fucking fifteen in the league, ten in the league. Plus he's signed. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. well, you're gonna have to give up something. Yeah, right, you're gonna have right. to give up something. Right, but I don't know. Is 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 it worth? Is it your right depth at wide receiver? You know, worth it's it. Weak. You're gonna let you're gonna fuck up your depth at the DM position. They definitely there's definitely a third DN there that can play. Yeah, we're missing. Somebody. I think we're missing somebody. But you know what? Which we uh, usually another don't. thing, like other teams, you know, at, through training camp, other teams cut motherfuckers too. So you might be able to find a Little gem of a, a fucking, yeah, a gem of a wide receiver I, 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 towards the end of training camp. I, you're not gonna find dude like this. No, I, no, no, I'm not saying team. that caliber, but I'm saying you can find a comparable did, number two. Then it's like, receiver. dude, she just kept dumbass Deontay. But no, I don't get some nah, glad Deontay. He was the worst. I, I think it, if we're like, we're gonna like actually like going for it this year because we got Ross for one year. We don't know if we're going to re-sign them. Like, this might be the move. Like, we're like, dude, this might put us over. They might be thinking, talking, like, this could be the move that p- makes us, like, a contender. Yeah. I, I like it. That it's seems more like a baseball or a hockey thing, though, where you, like, get a guy as a rental for you one year to, to, to take they already got, But they already got one, Russell Wilson. No, no, I understand that, uh, but yeah. I'm saying how many. You, if you they sign him, he's know, Russ is a rental, though, because I don't know how much you're going to have to pay Russ. Russ should probably be here two years. Yeah. They would. They only signed him for one, though, right? Or was it two? I feel like football is always two, I, at least. I can't fucking remember. I don't know. But uh, I swear it was one. But I could be wrong. I've been wrong on this show many a times. Yeah. No doubt. Uh, it looks like Kenny Pickett's being mismanaged again in Philly. Did you see that? <laughs> What's yeah. going on with mismanagement? Uh, he's not. He's like he 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 lose the two. Yeah, the, the rookie dude. It's like six five. Is gonna be the fucking number two. Dude, he's he might a, not even make the team. There's another dude there, Carson Wait, Strong. Wait, well, didn't somebody in this room say he was going to battle for the starting position? Yeah. Who well, was that? No, yeah, that's before they fucked up and start mismanaging him. <laughs> <man. laughs> They're fucking him over. That's like, yeah. It's the same. Dude, I mean, right. everybody, he he, the guy can't catch a fucking break. Dude, you I, know what I mean? He just keeps going into like one bad spot after another after another. I feel bad for the dude. Yeah, it was hard. Yeah, Philly was a really bad organization. They've been in the playoffs. Like, Everybody knows they mismanaged quarterbacks. Dude, <laughs> uh, there was, he had no chance of starting. I mean, he, if he was shut up, he'd probably he'd be the number two here. They, I mean, wow, he, what he, he didn't say anything. We well, cried. Yeah, yeah, he, he did. did. When they, as soon as they, they got Russell Wilson, oh, he you was mean like, here? Yeah. Oh, here. Yeah, he yeah, seems yeah, to yeah. be a problem wherever he goes. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it's him. Maybe he's, he's the common the problem, denominator. It's him. You know, I you come think. out of college at thirty. Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dude, he's already. You yeah. missed your peak. Yeah. He's, he's over. He's security. forty-two years old. He's already. a good-looking guy. Maybe you should try modeling. I don't know. Country music. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. Uh, yeah. He looks like. A country yeah. He, he fit in that Nashville. We would. Yeah. With he them little just, hands. You know. <laughs> play an instrument. He, he could play the ukulele. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> 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 little handed bastard. <laughs> Listen, man, he, he, the kid it. can't catch a break. I feel bad for him. Hopefully, he catches on. And He'll be I, bartending down uh, <laughs> yeah. Derby yeah, in no time. Derby <laughs> time. <laughs> He'll be dropping bottles with that little hand. Jack uh, will be like, fuck. You know what? Uh, You're be, our third string uh, fucking he's bartender. So now. committed. Like, we got to get rid of this dude. He keeps dropping yeah. the fucking yeah. Patron bottles. Like, They'll oh. have like his bartender. Like, just give him time, guys. Yeah. Yeah. I'm telling you, he's going to make John Taffer's like, he's either stealing or he's an idiot. Yeah. Yelling at my manager about him. Yeah. 
spinach in this fucking Yeah, game. right? <laughs> You're buying too big a bottle. Yeah, yeah Taffer That's it, like, you gotta buy pints. Taffer, Taffer, like, the biggest problem is Jack's obsessed with Kenny Pickett. <laughs> like, Kenny's hands are too small, he can't pour the bottle. He can't even pour champagne with that. Let's be honest. There's loyalty. I mean, Listen, loyalty. I saw this article and I said it. I, like, I could have easily just fucking kept on going. I was like, motherfucker. This dude just won't fucking <laughs> have my back at all like yeah. I have his. Yeah, it's, it's definitely... Uh, I think there was, like, people ways. from Pittsburgh. They like the, the Pickett family was, like, sending people from Pittsburgh that were, like, supportive of them, like, Pickett jerseys to go to, like, fucking uh, preseason games. No, I didn't get one. Oh, man. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's a real thing that I saw on Twitter. That's hilarious. Yeah. I mean, you yeah, like, support our boys. This isn't fucking midget football. It's not. It's no. Yeah, so. Put a nice Kenny? pin on your shirt. This is yeah. like my mom's Joey yeah. 48. Picket 8. Yeah. I seen this. Listen, I seen this dude tweet. It was a Pickett Eagle jersey, and he was like, thanks to the Pickett family. They're all the best. Like, fucking not really, like, you know, I'm sticking by Kenny, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, ooh. <laughs> I'm with you, brother. What are you going to do? Yeah, dude, play like, on the like, like reading a beer like he's not going to open it and drink it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, he's he's really uh, like taking it in. I was just looking at what it said. <laughs> Good <laughs> mood brew. Yeah, what's the you literature like on this? I, I mean, I'm gonna I'll let you know. Will, you, Will drops us off some brew here. Who did he? Eleven. Fed the, God, fed fed the gods the, beer yeah, with. Fed the gods called great from eleven with eleventh hour. Yeah. Nice little IP. How do you guys choice. like it? Eagle tits. You dr- you're drinking it. Is this the stuff that got mushroom in it? No. Oh man, dude, across the street. There's like a vape shop now. Yeah. Did you see like there was like vapes, blah, blah, blah. It was exotic treats. What do you think exotic treats well, are? Let's go in and ask Delta after the show. Yeah, the Delta Eights and shit. Delta Nieners. Yeah. yeah. Those, are, those aren't good for the brain. What's uh, that? Dude, Del- a Delta Nine will make you lose the fucking yeah. day. Yeah. Delta Nine? Yeah, dude, I'm on the next level, bro. Yeah, it's a stage up, dude. Yeah, I thought it was the Delta Eights. Shit. The eights the that was last year's the thing. If you really yeah. want to stay away from <laughs> I'm <laughs> uh, pretty sure I had listeria last week, so I, I wasn't here last week. What's listeria? It's a food, food borne illness. Uh, Where'd you get it from? Boar's head meat, I think. Like, uh, so, dude, oh. you better get on that class action, cuz. <laughs> and I'm telling you that. Uh, so it's like self diagnosed, even though I did go to the ER. So I fucking. I had like three beers. Scrub that part. Don't Sunday. say self-diagnosed. Yeah. Yeah. Scrub that. Don't say yeah. boar's heads. For <laughs> well, that's who. You that's no. It was boar's. They were called seven million. Uh, did they? Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did they? Yeah. Seven million, bro. Oh, did they really? I yeah. swear to yeah. God. Oh, fuck, you about to get paid. <laughs> that's what you think I'm joking, dude. I'm off. Uh, yeah. I'm, I had it too. Me think, and Jack were eating sandwiches. I think, yeah, it was like, there was like <laughs> I think there was three states. It was like us. I don't know, like surrounding like tri Yeah, area. yeah, it was like like the Jersey, Eastern chunk yeah, of fucking yeah. But country. there was like 30 or 40 cases. I think two people died. Yeah, two people died. It's yeah. really bad if, if you're pregnant and you get it. That's why I tell you not to eat lunch meat when you're pregnant. I never knew that. Not only that, because of the nitrites in the lunch meat, too. Also, the nitrites in the lunch meat. Uh, and I guess it's really bad if you have like, you've had like bad stomach problems in the past. So I fucking woke up Monday, felt like hell. Couldn't like shake it. It felt like a diverticulitis fucking help like flame up. And I was like, here we fucking go again. It's exactly what it felt like. So I just drove myself to the ER. Really didn't tell anybody like a psychopath. But I can check myself in. You want to die like a man. Die like a man. (laughs) Uh, They do a CT scan. Take my blood work. This dude comes in and he was like, you're good, man. And I'm like, what? And this dude, this doctor, he was like young. He had like facial hair. He had gel in his hair. He had joggers on. He had like a pair of New Balances on. You didn't I'm like, believe kid, him. listen, kid. <laughs> Can you bring you your uncle in go here? Look the, again. Go get the guy in the back that's been drinking fucking all day. You really don't let see like a lot of fucking people. Zebra, do you want to take that? No. I'm... What's going on with these? Is, is I turned me? mine off. The eagle tit sent us a message. Uh, well, that was also my. That was also yeah, my. We all had phones going off. Got cups time. going on. But anyway, so there was a young, like, hot doctor who's, like, <laughs> fucking, like, taking care of me. And I'm like, I don't like this one bit, yeah. dude. I need a, I need a wily vet I'm, that's need, been through I some shit. Need an old Jewish man or an Indian woman. <laughs> That's my doctors. That's my yeah, I love right that. There. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's exactly what you want. Can't go wrong there, buddy. But like, I didn't go. I didn't go to Mercy because like it was just like I, well, I was like I'm feeling like I'm gonna be. I don't know. I just I went, I went out north, but it was. He was like, Yeah, man, you're good. I don't know what uh, what's going on. I have no answers for you. I was like, Well, that's 
it's good, but it's also like, what the fuck? I came here to get diagnosed. Yeah, he didn't usually diagnose, and he was like, I mean, is your stomach hurt still? I was like, dude, it's killing me. But no, I just came here because I had nothing else to do. And he was like, ER. do you want some Oxycontin? And I'm like, nah, I, I swear do. to God. And I'm like, of course I want Oxycontin. <laughs> but at the same time, I want to now get I think you're like baiting me because you're telling me there's nothing wrong with me, and now you're like offering up Oxycontin. That doesn't even make sense to... for a stomachache. Well, yeah, it's like a tums, isn't it? takes, Yeah, it makes sense for this everything. This isn't the 90s. <laughs> what, what's your no, he would have gave me like some fives or tens or some shit. Really? But Oxycontin? You need enough of them at once. They work. And uh, If you break them up and sniff them, Jack, they, they, they work even faster. But, he, <laughs> I, but I was like, nah, dude, I'm good on the oxys. I just, if nothing's wrong with me, nothing's wrong with me. So it like hurt for another like day and a half and then it just went away. When so like as, yeah. as I'm like. Reading, my mom was like, I think you might have wisteria. I'm like, listen, lady, I don't have wisteria. You know, but then I, like, start looking into it a little more, and, like, the, it gets more and more, like, prevalent, and, like, people are talking about it, and I was like, I might have wisteria, so maybe yeah. I do have a class action up my, up my sleeve. You have a, both of us do. I could fucking Would you just one, poop it out and everything was good, or what? Yeah, my stomach's completely fine now. I don't yeah. know. That's it. It's weird for him to act like Mine that. Mine still hurts, dude. I'm still. I just never like here. Do you want some Imodium? Do you want some, like oxy? Like well, they gave me like painkillers. Like they're, they're yeah, especially they me, they especially like, now they're they not that me, loose with no, that they're shit. They're not. And like they gave me like Tordol, which is like fucking Tylenol, and went like through the IV and like that helped a little bit. But then before I left, he's like, I mean, I give you something for the pain, like some oxycodone or something like that. I'm like. Pff. Is so he was like, cool. Is this dude like set me up? But I felt like he was like, like how did that set me up? Like, 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 if he thought like, so like, I, there was nothing wrong. My blood work, my like blood work was perfect. To, like, my CT him. scan, there was nothing wrong. I got with you. It. So yeah. now I'm thinking, does this dude think I'm like in here like trying to score drugs? So I was like, nah, I'm good on, sure. I'm good on the oxys. Yeah, but like, for him to offer like that's that fault. Now it's back his responsibility. How do you think you got those new You didn't ask for the oxys. It wasn't like you were like, dude, I need. You know what I mean? You were like, what's wrong? I'm in so much pain. Dude, I had a piece of metal in my eye. <laughs> and they couldn't see me in the middle of the morning. The optometrist, I'm like, well, I, dude, I, I, I couldn't fall asleep. I like my eyes couldn't close. It's how much go to the ER. I did. So I go to the ER. They're like, listen, dude. He's like, I don't really see nothing. He's like, he's like, I mean, I can write. He like wrote me like Vicodin. And dude, let me tell you something. There's a piece of metal in your fucking eye. Yeah, the Vicodin fucking did nothing. So I like basically like didn't sleep. It was like the first patient at this optometrist. She found a piece of metal in my eye. And then, like, scrubbed it out. But, like, I, he, they, they didn't offer me oxy for that. Do like, you feel instant relief once they got the metal Oh, uh, dude, I've had a piece of metal in my eye. The, the metal being out was relief, but, like, the, 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 what they had to do to my eye to get yeah, it out. It it's almost they used, like, a Dremel. Dude, my, oh, mine yeah. was, like, when I had the metal in my eye, my piece was, like, it, it, don't get me wrong. It was, like, sticking out, but, like, it was a very small piece, tweezers. like, sticking out. And they're, like, oh. they're, like, bam. I was, like, oh, that yeah, shit yeah. is horrible, though. Yeah. Metal in the eye is no good. But yeah, I think I beat it's it starts to, If you leave it in there long enough, it starts to rust. Uh, yeah, it's you weird. You know what? If you have something like that, you can never get a fucking, uh, what is that when you, MRI? When you go in the thing and, and the magnetic thing spins around you? Butt, metal in your so eye. like my dad's, a, he used to be a welder. He can't get an MRI because there's like particles, of, possibly particles of metal in his eyes. If you go in the MRI, it's like a magnet yeah. and it'll like pull it out. Oh. Pull your eye out? Not your eye, but the Pull the metal, metal through your eyeball. Yeah, so huh. he, he can't get MRIs. What Jeez. if you got a so if you got metal plate in your head, you definitely can't get in. Yeah, there. there's shit like that. You can't go in there because it would just like suck. <laughs> yeah, just suck half your melon. I off. feel like that's like they should figure that out. You think? Well, they can do CT scans now. You yeah, know, right. Like, MRIs were we got, we got a lot of alien technology. I watch yeah, they, they, they reverse that. They reverse <laughs> engineered all that. Everybody knows that. Are uh, you guys watching the Olympics still? Yeah, yeah, I've been I've been tuning in. Beach volleyball. Season. I seen Katie Ledecky win the win the gold. Yeah, yeah, she was. Smoking. I seen her. She smoked a couple people in a couple different races. Uh, you had a chick on Canada. Did you see that the other day? What? Her root. Uh, <laughs> oh, in the beach volleyball. volleyball. Yeah, beach volleyball. Pretty good. Whoa, uh, evil tits. Wow. This is this what is, is that sec- an all you can eat clam buffet. <laughs> this this is the secret night swimming event. This chick Dude. has her whole mutton out. Dude, I gotta say, like, she should be pro- That's a nice mutton. That's, you know, that's, she, yeah, that's good. Hey, that's I a mean, sweet claim show. Yeah, I'm, be, I'm yeah. trying to be as professional as possible. That's a, that's a nice vagina, dude. I mean, that's. 
That's crazy. Well, no, there also there is tan fabric right here. So like there's fabric. Oh, there is. Oh, so, Larry, why did you have to tell us that? Yeah. Okay. Larry was nuts. so deep into this. Larry did Larry's a deep dive. Real into deep. Her, yeah. He did a deep dive into her uvula. <laughs> that even up. makes it more uh, weird, like I think. The vault. Don't you think it makes it? Because it nah, looks like accentuating. Yeah, it, like, it looked like it looked like way like sexy. What like, team is this? String. I think this is Brazil. It, like a string. That, Brazil got the hottest ever. And it was like a little <laughs> string going in between her, her crease. Yeah, it was like they're like <laughs> they were presenting like it was not covering anything. No, nah. it covered her clit. <laughs> so the Olympics are back. That everybody was <laughs> down on them. Butt cheeks are heavy now. I mean, uh, water polo. I was watching water, a little water polo. How the hell do they do that, dude? I watch dude, They're right the most in shape dude, human yeah. beings on earth. You know what? Like, and, like, they have, like, a break, and, like, the dudes don't even, like, go grab onto the side. They'll, like, sit. Some dudes will, but yeah. other dudes will sit there and, like, tread water. It looks like it's zero effort. Like, I'm a decent. I found myself. You did tread, tread like, water for two minutes. Two minutes. <laughs> and you were like, <laughs> I'm like, I feel like I'm a decent treader. Like, but, like. I couldn't I, do it with yeah, them. Dude. dude, dude no, they come yeah, out of the water, like. Up to their nuts. Dude, if you're playing like I probably three or four water polo games that. a day, like yeah. you're just like your body is just you're shredded beef. You're you're all my, I mean you're that's probably like the you're best lean. fitness lean. for like people. Like, Imagine you know, doing that water gymnastics. Polo. I think might but be water, it, yeah. yeah, but water polo people like probably are the most like, all fit. swimmers. Did I remember Phelps like saying what he had to eat? Dude, what would he eat? Six thousand in the morning. Six thousand in the morning. Yeah, he would just crush breakfast and get That's why he smoked weed. Yeah, keep that that appetite up. Oh, did you see the lady boxer with crazy high tea? Yeah, dude, this thing is so confusing to me. It's just a lady. I don't think come anybody. Back to that. Come it's back a to it's that. a lady boxer with crazy high tea. There's well, dude. Was she but, born with both? No, or no, no she's a she's no, a woman. No, they came she's just to, a woman. She's a woman, she, dude. She is just a woman, but she was. It's called intersex. Yeah, right. So she has a chromosome of each. But, or whatever. but she didn't. She wasn't born with a dick. No, I understand that. But, but the, she has the, the high test, testosterone. It's high tea. It was it was lodged like up in her system. Like she wouldn't be able to get. She had any. No, not a dick. But like, <laughs> she, she like literally had like t- testicles inside balls of her. Balls inside of her. Yeah. So she has balls in a vagina. Inside of her, though. She's it's a like, vagina. It's, like a it's neither here nor there. That's where her balls I don't are. understand anything anymore. Wait, did but you she see? lost fights. Yeah, she's not, it's not like this She's fought like, before. It, she's not like crazy dominant. This chick from Italy, like, yeah. you're a boxer, dude. She, like, she, I don't she, know, yeah, know what you're getting hurt. into. But, yeah, but look at the way she's looking at her. Though. See, like, that's how did. shit goes, man. It went from this person had a like a, it was like a transvestite to it was just a chick. But I don't understand. Did you yeah, see the high, one? The listen, one? dude. There's a, uh, you watch the Olympics. Like, look around. There's some high tea everywhere, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They're, On the they're woman's skirting, side, they're skirting the fucking dude, drug test. Tell me, somehow. she don't look just like Belky Bertakamis. From, from, from Perfect Strangers. <laughs> yeah. Now I know where he went. <laughs> I thought it was Colin. Yeah, it was, I mean Kaepernick. the whole thing was fucked up. Like, but dude, uh, the 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 back. Like you st- knew you were gonna fight her. Like I don't, I just don't understand. Draft it. Like, Kings lost a ton of money on it. Or, yeah, they had her like like. Did she her, end like, up getting disqualified or something? I, I don't even know where she's at right I think now. The, I, I thought like, they ended up disqualifying her because her so. levels were. I think they, here's the weird thing about it. They, her testosterone, she could not pass the test for the IBA, for the International Boxing right. Association. The Olympics does not have, for whatever reason, the same testing levels. So she was able to fight in the Olympics. So, like... You know, she but fought. she's fought other chicks before the Olympics and stuff and got her ass whooped. Right. So Did you I see don't... the chick from, like... I don't know if it's China or like Taiwan yeah. or something. It's, that looks like a fucking dude, bro. She's like shredded. Dude, it might be the same. In thing. my I mind, it's, like, like, like countries sandwich. like Russia and China still like just like develop these at like China won like the swimming relay, and I don't know why that bothered me. I never. <laughs> they're great divers. Yeah, they could dive their dicks. They off. could dive their body control like a motherfucker, dude. Yeah. Ping pong all day. Ping pong all day, dude. I didn't think they were like fast swimmers. No, I mean, but they, they they like found themselves some like jacked ass Chinese dudes. Well, you see their school system. What these kids are doing? What are they doing? Remember fucking, we like talked about it before. They're, they're doing, fucking. They're, they're doing, doing everything. Jacks yeah. Before fucking class. They're recent. What do they call insane. that? Eugenics in China. They're just trying to build bigger Chinamen. Yeah. It's like in that movie. Uh, Gung Ho, like before they went into the plant. He's like, like you paint here, 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 <laughs> here, 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 here. Uh, it's crazy just how they like the Olympics are evolving. They're like Carl Lewis is like world world record from like back in the day. 
the dude that came in last place in the uh, 100 the other night was faster than Carl Lewis. He would have beat him. Beat Carl, yeah. Dude, that race Which was so that, 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 that race was, was so tight. I thought that Jamaican won the whole thing. So I, did I. Yeah, I, I think the other dude thought he did too. Yeah. I, yeah, I think that Jamaican probably did would have won if he would have been closer to the dude from America that won. That won. You know what I mean? Because like, yeah, did I you? Didn't, I didn't know until that day that like your foot doesn't fucking count if your foot crosses your, 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 your torso. Oh, torso. Yeah. Yeah. It can't be a I hand thought it was. Your, I no. thought it was like your face. No, it's your torso. Torso makes the most sense. I don't yeah. you say that though. Huh. Because yeah, I seen the one dude's foot. I'm like, how the fuck he didn't win? And then I started watching it, and there they explain the rules. Huh. I mean, I saw. I, I I did like I watched some of the track. I like the uh, where they get a lead. The uh, What's it like? Someone's the relay, going, the relay baton. dude. When they, yeah. they pass the baton. The track isn't bad. I like the swimming better than the track, dude. A lot of uh, every time I go like off like NBC, onto like USA or whatever like sister networks is on. It's always the equestrian, the horse shit. There's so many equestrian events. I'm like, dude, enough of the horse. I didn't horse. even know that. Dude. Enough I, I of the like horses. Horse stuff. Oh, yeah. I, maybe I'm just like getting unlucky. Wait, every see, time I turn it on, it's horses. You didn't see Snoop when the like they do. You know how the Snoop. horses do like that dance, like yes. Galba. He was like, oh, he was like on the set. He crib walking yeah. out. He's done up seasons. That, that, that was the last Olympics. <laughs> oh, was that so, the last? Yeah, so I seen that. I just seen that. Snoop's video. doing the promo work, obviously for this Olympics. He's like sitting with people's parents and everything like that. Dude, he's getting paid five hundred dollars, five hundred thousand dollars a day to do this he's yeah. making eight million dollars in 16 days that's great Good for I, great for snoop great for snoop that's awesome i don't understand though like how i don't understand promote like promotions i just i just don't ever get it like how snoop being at the olympics making more people tune in the olympics I don't know his commentary is hilarious. I think they have money it's good they have to spend. It, it, yeah. i don't know it's either that or bob cost is like i mean i don't know bob cost is was but like I, snoop isn't he's not He's not uh relevant. he's not like announcing anything. I know. You know what I mean? He's just like he's like He did the badminton, which was hilarious. Yeah, that was good. He it's did. It's there. It's over here now. Tariq, like, give me that. Oh, I'm gonna need that. Oh, there you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. We still got Tariko. <laughs> Tariko took it over for Costas. So right. like I don't, yeah, I, I listen. No, like right. But what's the what's the why would you pay? Know, why, why, why would you pay him that much money? To get a different demographic interested in the fucking Olympics. That's my guess. Yeah, I guess, but Snoop is so mainstream, like it's insane. Yeah. And then like Flavor Flav is uh Flavor, sponsoring he sponsoring the women's water polo yeah. team like it's just from it's where? from America that's right because they didn't have the money for yeah because they like worked like three jobs and shit like that got kids it's uh that was a cool story uh so yeah he paid a bunch of money the dude that was doing the pole vault with a huge dick lost yeah. because he fucking his huge dick knocked over the fucking vault dude that was I mean he won in life but he lost in the... from France I didn't know dudes from France had dicks like that no. I remember Yogi told me the one time I'm like why would you even research that Paul what you, wait what did he tell you what, what did he tell me Yogi was Yogi was like dudes from dudes. France he was like went through the analysis of like he knows what what countries have the biggest dicks wait, he like, said French men had the biggest dicks wait 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 wait, wait. <laughs> He's he like, told oh, you this like be... recently, like now. Yeah, that... this was weird. Like in our like, 20s. Years... What? Yeah. It was That's a weird, weird fun. Thing I ever heard it was a weird <laughs> fun fact. Like Yogi. Uh, he, yeah, he texted me. He's like, "I told you, dude." Like, no, I'm joking. He did not. <laughs> Ask him. I guarantee you. But like, yeah, I always said it. They're like this. You think Yogi got that as a screensaver? <laughs> <laughs> That's a weird thing to just like know in your early 20s. <laughs> if they, you would have told me like, yeah, he told me yesterday that dude was, he was bored at work and like just googled like which countries had the biggest dicks. That makes a little more sense, but just to know off the top of your head and Google when you're like 21 years old, like, hey, who got the it, hammers? When you're 21, was there a lot of Googling going on? Well, whatever, 25, no, he whatever. Did re, he did research the old-fashioned way. He went to the library. Yeah. He went to the court yeah, I mean, you still Google at the library. You're at yeah. CCAC. You got a fucking, you know, got a couple classes in between. You <laughs> got the biggest yeah, dicks in the Google world. Googling France cock. Next thing you know, he's like, I'm getting a passport. Wee <laughs> <laughs> wee. Oui, oui. He was like, parlez-vous français? <laughs> All right, he didn't win the gold though. I bet he won a lot of pink from that though. I can guarantee that picture. Yeah, him laid he's a crushing times pussy. Over. Yeah, tape that thing down. Yeah, you got to tape yeah, it to your leg. Compression shorts, those are tights too. I don't, I don't understand how that fucking happens. Hit a bone. Do you think he uh, like he's excited? Rock, that's that's, worth that's gotta be up. half a chopper. I mean, that's yeah, a, he's a little rocked up. A little, right? You're, if you're yeah. just walking around with that, that adrenaline's standard. going. Maybe, maybe he took something. Yeah, who knows? Yeah, let's do it. We're still analyzing the boner. Of course, uh, big fan of the pod. First time caller here. I got a what would Greenfield do for you? I had a, a minor hit and run on my side near no note. Uh, so a bit of a bummer. Figured I'm out about 500 bucks. But uh, a few days later, neighbor tells me, hey, I saw it happen. I got a lead on the person that did it. 
uh, they give me a description of the woman and her car. Uh, only problem here is there's two people on my block that fit that description. Uh, the first one I'm friendly with, she drives a little crazy. Uh, my money's on her. Uh, I don't think she knows it's my car. Um, the second person, don't really know. So here's my question for you. What would Greenfield do? Keeping in mind here that my goal is to actually get the person to fess up and pay the $500, uh, not to make them feel like an asshole, even though they are for not, not getting me, not leaving a note. Um, also, don't want to falsely accuse someone. Uh, that can come off as, as really awkward, um, maybe create an enemy out of one of my neighbors. And, you know, there's always a possibility it could be some third person. It's not even on my block. So there you have it, boys. What would Greenfield do? Uh, love the pod. Keep up the great work. Thanks. I think it's pretty simple. You go up to the chick that you kind of know, and you just say, like, you're never going to believe what happened. If she's like your friend, you'd be like, someone actually hit my mirror on my car and they drove away. Like, I think they were scared and like they didn't know what to do. No, before you I confront mean, anyone, you do a little detective work. You ask the neighbor for ring cam. her mirror. Well, yeah. If her yeah. mirror's fucked up, either side or someone's like, oh, geez, what happened to your mirror here? Yeah. You know Maybe I mean? ask your neighbors if they got a ring camera. There like, yeah, go. like, yeah, that's a, that's a ring camera. Do you know anything? It stinks about $500. Yeah. That's a good idea. Go to her and be like, hey, I can't believe you believe this happened to me. Well, right, because uh, if you know her, it's a casual conversation. Then that person might go, oh, my God, is that your car? Yeah. And then they might be like, like yeah. Yeah, but like, yeah, you, there's a chance. And you're not accusing them. But right. I had to run at some white trash shit. So, what? like, if you, like, kind of already got away with a hit and run, you might just be like, oh, that sucks. I know, yeah, but... well, yeah. Are they going to really come come clean? Yeah. Oh, I th unless they're like, oh, you know what? I thought I nipped it. I didn't realize I broke it. Right. Sorry. I mean, I was drinking you it yesterday. Was... You give yeah. them After the app. Work. That's, that's perfect, John. You give them the op. Like, I think whoever hit it, like, didn't realize they broke the mirror. Right. And then that's where they're like, oh, my God, that was me. That's it, John. You figured it out. That's it right there. Problem solved. Problem solved. If not, just eat it. Hey, boys. Mike Weens, Allison Park. Hey, I'm on a job site here. We're all just, like, listening on TV, like always. You guys got to talk to Philly. Since you told me about that fake laugh, I've noticed this fake laugh on every one of his, his uh, commercials. It's crazy. Now everybody on the job site notices it, all those window commercials, Jimmy three times and stuff. Oh, my God. I love Philly to death, but uh, he's beating that fake laugh. That's a little gear grinder for this week. Keep going. Love you, boys. Well, that's a recording. He's not doing that live no. every time. Yeah, yeah, it's, just yeah. A recording. <laughs> it's a recording that he did. I don't know. I'm sure, you know, people pay a lot of money for those ads. They probably tell you how they want you to do it. You got some peppy. You got, yeah, yeah if they want you to yeah. fucking Casey Case them up, sometimes you got to Casey Case them up. I don't think Bill I don't has think a lot of say in I don't, I bet guarantee he doesn't. Uh, he tries to make it. As, you yeah, know, like, within the, like, the parameters they give me. Yeah, like, hey, do you want me to talk can. normal? Do you want me to fucking like, really be funny? Go home with it, like, yeah, or try to be funny, and you know, it's just one of those commercials where you got to be over eccentric, and you know, that's what it is. Yeah. Mm, what's what the going fuck? on? This is Augie <laughs> from Vanessa. Hey, Jack, just checking in. When's the bar opening? <laughs> Could use a few. Thanks. Bod, what do you guys think the Steelers are going to go this year? Dude, I'm going out to Lake Road to play a little golf and uh, bump elbows with uh, the Roonies at Sharkies this week. All right, later. I mean, I think the saying that we answered the last two times you asked this, Augie. Sold the bar. <laughs> bar sold. No, I mean, I, the Steelers thing. The yes every time. What, we think what record? Were you here to, when he asked for a record? I wasn't. No, I think the Steelers are going to go... Uh, how many games they play these days? 17. 17. 10 and 7. Yeah, it sounds... That Missed sounds the playoffs. Right. Nine and eight. Division's really good. We got a really hard back end of the well, now schedule. Now if they get IU, because you're going to get all hyped up and bump them to eleven games. No, I don't think. I don't think. <laughs> well, I, don't, I don't make the think, trade then. I don't think IU's the game changer that people are hyping up to be. I truly. Well, don't. Well, then again, we took your advice on Kenny Pickett. Maybe they should take IU. <laughs> we know how that worked out. Yeah, mismanaged. <laughs> mismanaged his way out of Philly too. <laughs> we'll see. Boy, Kenny. 
So I got a grinder on behalf of Kelly's stepbrother. So he's gone through a divorce. Ooh. About a month and a half ago, they were going on vacation, him and the cunt doing the exploit. <laughs> and uh, she couldn't get control of Bluetooth. So that's basically what happened. And she threw her rings at him, left him. Oh my god! Like, wherever they were, down the beach, called Virginia Beach or something, I'm not sure. And uh, left him. He's with another couple, he couldn't fit. The other couple had all their stuff in their car. He had to rent a car and drive home by himself. She took the car and fucking left him six hours away. That's fucked so, up. I feel bad I left. Today was the day she had to move on. So they, I got a new apartment in a month, blah, blah, blah. You know, it, they've been staying at the house, I don't know, separate, whatever. So he wasn't there. She's not supposed to take anything. She didn't want nothing, blah, blah, blah. So she leaves. He goes back today. She dumped water on his computer. She Aww. dumped ink on the couch. She bitch. broke out their shit. Like, I mean... They're in their late forties, by the way. It ain't even something childish. Like this fucking cunt. You I hope that they that put me in the company yeah. of press charges. I'm sure, but like, wow, what a fucking cunt. <laughs> yeah, dude. Good yeah. for him. He didn't get handsy. Kenny, yeah, is there saying. any kids involved in this? Doesn't. I guess like Kenny's it. not here yeah, to answer. I wish he was. Like uh, dude, to throw the rings at you because like you're fighting over the ox. Yeah, that's fucking insane. Yeah. That uh. Yeah, I think you got to sue that I'm bitch. What sure. else do you do? You can't beat her up. Right. So, like, you got to ruin her life somehow. I yeah. think I think you just take the the hit. Yeah. Move uh, on. Fuck that, yeah. dude. I'm too bad. You move that, on, I mean, I guess it, it really comes down to, like, all right, are you guys just, like, going? They're not, you're not separate. There's not, like, it's separating. Se it doesn't seem like a separation. Shit, it seems like, like she's been thinking. If... She's been thinking about leaving. That was it. You don't yeah. want to stir up anything where she's going to start coming after your crib or anything like that if she's not doing that. So right. If, okay. If you take the fucking... hit on the couch. You take the pictures. You're like, listen, just leave what me the fuck alone. Leave me alone. I talk to an attorney. You fucking do some stupid shit like this again. I'm, you know, I'm going to press charges. Leave right. me the fuck alone. Right. But I mean, if if she if they if she just threw the rings at him, they didn't even start the divorce process. You know, that shit doesn't go like a week. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this is all gonna come out. And well, she don't want me. nothing here. Here's the paper. Sign it. That's the cheapest way possible. Right. Yeah. yeah. There's no yeah, kids. Listen, if she's a cunt like this, yeah. I highly yeah, doubt she's like, yeah, fine. She wants to make this dude's life miserable. Especially like if she gets around like some idiot friends. Uh, and like, yeah. Oh my god, you're entitled to half everything. Now. That's uh, your the, house. The, the idiot friends on That's the side, the filling the that brain up with poison. Just, <laughs> this yeah. is the best thing that could have happened to this dude. It's over. They're in their late forties. He could have been stuck with her for the rest of her fucking life. Yeah, she, you still got a life ahead off. of you, huh? He still got a life ahead of him. Yeah, you know, football seems, season's coming up. Right, he'll be fine. Up. Go to like, Hoosh. Yeah, download DraftKings. Fucking start going to Cage Rage with Z Bird. <laughs> you'll be fine. Yeah, that's a win-win. That's a. Uh, oh my god! What a terrible fucking yeah, what a broad, piece of though, garbage. Like, Ruined vacation. <laughs> and then the fucked up part is, imagine being the other couple. You're like, dude, we can't fit you in here. Like, that's such an awkward conversation. Like, well, also, yeah, but, like, at the it, same time, I don't even want to take that ride. Nah, you know, come a, I'm going to rent a car. Like, get me the fuck, yeah, get me the fuck out of here. Like, you know, you know have a little, quiet that ride's yeah, have be? a little small talk about it and then just be like, all right. Yeah. I'd rather, you know, listen to a podcast and <laughs> start get, drinking on the way. Think about yeah, how I'm going to rebuild my life bottle? again. Yeah. The, th the thing that sucked is he had to go home to her because she still live was living there. Yeah, that's brutal. So that six hour drive, you just know you're going back into the into furnace. The lines then. Yeah. I would have went to Kenny's. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. I'm staying with Kenny for a fucking month. Get me the fuck out of here. Hey, everybody. Eagle Tits here. Time for your favorite part of the show, the ads. Our sponsors help keep the show going. So if anybody that we talk about interests you, please go show them support. All right, let's get into this. Located in the heart of Pittsburgh's south side, 12 Whiskey Barbecue features 100 bottle craft beers and 28 drafts from local and indie brewers. Their kitchen's open late and they have a crazy good menu. On top of that, they have events at the bar as well as offer catering. Birthdays, weddings, business events, and more, they've got you covered. Check them out at 12pgh.com or visit them at 1222 East Carson Street. That's T-W-E-L-V-E-P-G-H.com. Primetime Appliance. You've heard us talk about them before. Their company puts the customer first. They're punctual and they take their time to get the job done right the first time. Cooktop repair, dishwasher repair, dryer repair, electric appliance repair, freezer repair, gas appliance repair, refrigerator repair, washer repair. I could go on all day. Have an emergency? 
Call them at 412-896-1395 or visit them at primetimeappliance.com. Do you love hot sauce? Do you love the city of Pittsburgh? Then why not try a sauce made right here in the city? That's right, I'm talking about Artie's Hot Sauce. Our buddy Artie currently has seven sauces available. He has Arbel and Sandy, Habanera Island, Teriyaki Thai, Pizza Shop, Sweet Jalapeno, Hop and Jalapeno, Triple Pepper Fret, and Hot and Sour Serrano. All crafted with no artificial flavors, with hand-picked selections of chili peppers that guarantee an unforgettable culinary adventure. What are you waiting for? Visit Artie'sHotSauce.com. A-R-T-I-E-S HotSauce.com. Nothing beats a local neighborhood butcher. Locally sourced, pasture-raised, nose-to-tail meats. They connect the farmer to provide customers with the best beef, lamb, chicken, and pork that Western Pennsylvania has to offer. The craft of whole animal butchery requires respect for both the animal and the customer. Come see the different satin bags. Visit them at 5151 Butler Street, Pittsburgh, PA, 15201, or check out their website at fatbutcher.com. Let's talk Carlson and Associates Real Estate Services. Located in Pittsburgh's south side, they specialize in all aspects of real estate business, including residential and commercial sales, residential and commercial leasing, multifamily investment, historic buildings, and development in and around the city. Have a question about home buying, selling, or rentals? Give them a call at 412-431-1718 or visit them at casouthside.com. That's casouthside.com. Welcome, Matt Rosado, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about Matt. He does everything from simple handyman tasks all the way to kitchen and bathroom full remodels, full room renovations, decks, big old decks, the whole nine. He has a buddy named Ryan, and if you mention Greenfield's Finest Podcast, you get 10% off, and they renovate with confidence and trust at Ram Remodeling at 412 412- Two two five seven three two one. That's four one two 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 five seven three two one. And get rammed. <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, you like have to. Yeah, <laughs> who's ready to get rammed? <laughs> hey, what's going on, Barry? Welcome back, Greenfield Science Podcast. We're about to jump into Corn Dick of the Week. Money line. Who be Corn Dicking this week? Uh, dude was pressure washing the giant uh, homeless lady downtown. We don't have the video. I think the internet scrubbed it, but uh, there was a homeless woman downtown Pittsburgh. She was very naked. There was a guy pressure washing the the sidewalk. She approaches him and pretty much like spray that thing down. She pulls. Why is he a corn dick though? She she's the corn dick. Uh, Okay, I was Uh, gonna say he's he's just a servant. Yeah, yeah no, like how done you want? Like you got to get the chick away from you. So he you gave her a little spritz. You got to spray yeah. her, and like good on him because he could have really cranked that pressure washer up and like he put it on the fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He could have <laughs> the light. He could have. He could have. Yeah, he, he could have took a, like a layer of skin off that thing. <laughs> but you could tell. You could tell. Like, he, sewer. <laughs> <laughs> he should have told her to turn around, clean out that goo. Do you think it's the first time anybody's ever said blew that clit in the sewer? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> We we should, we I'm, I'm, I'm willing to bet on it. I yeah. mean, it has been said more than 50 times in the history of our of America. Yeah. yeah. How many times is a fat homeless chick up pressure wash? I mean, yeah. I bet more than I people. See, I was going to yeah, say it's more common more, than you think. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> she was like, she had like a little towel on her and she dumped them titties out. He was giving them a spray. But she was really like spraying down her beef. Was yeah. she a big one? She was a big one. I can't she believe was... you didn't see this video. No, yeah, when... Marty was all Marty, over. Marty was all he over. Said, this he was is all... Downtown, I can't believe right? they scrubbed it. He was a little horned up from it though. Hey, I, I'm guaranteeing Marty watched that more. Than when one. did this yeah, happen? Yeah, I watched happen? it more than Friday. once. Oh, yeah. I missed it. I got it. Uh, I'm surprised it didn't, didn't get more traction than it did because it's a it's a pretty good video. But the dude, he like looks at her, gives her a spray, he looks at his boy with a little cheese. His boy's and then, filming it. But then she's loving it, and he's like, dude, I mean, I'll hit you again, I'll hit you again. But she got washed up, she needed to get washed up. Yeah, like she went back to the thing, and some homeless dude was happy. He just greased her crease. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, she was the, he's fresh, like, he's like, he's like, the freshest crease in town. Yeah. That dude, he's like, did you get the hot wax? Yeah, because <laughs> he, <had the, laughs> he had the soap on. Yeah. The soap was on. Here, surely, here. <laughs> Yeah, so the soap's going. Oh, she got the fucking leg cocked up on the horse, Yeah, too. she puts it yeah, up. Yeah, she, put she pulled it she out. She got that thing oh, cleaned yeah. up. The Big dude's time. face is oh, the back. She, yeah. Dude, then she gave it a... Wow, she dropped I that wish thing we, off why aggressively. Why can't we put this video up? He doesn't have it. The link uh, that you sent me won't fall off on the computer. Uh, uh, look at her. She's... Yeah, so that was uh, <laughs> that was a good one. 
risotto. Try texting it at Link afterwards, and I'll see if I can add it. Oh, dude, she but... spread her lips. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she did. You really cleaned that thing down. Yeah, she, cleaned... she was like, you got to go deep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so funny. Oh, the first disgusting. layer of muck. Oh, oh you know, there's river muck in there. There's oh, all kind of muck under the in bridge there. Muck. Yeah. yeah, that sidewalk's ruined. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this dude's loving it, too. Oh, that's beautiful. Yeah, that's, that's fucking like moronic acid coming I, off I wish that I would have seen that one. Fuck. Well, you just did, buddy. Well, I mean, I, mean I, I could have been in on it, you know, when you guys told me about it. <laughs> I wish I was that guy pressure washing. Oh, uh, yeah. I wish I was. That's a good story. Yeah, that's a great story. He couldn't believe it. You nah, see, he's having, he was having fun with it. He looked up at his boy. He's like, working the... on a Saturday. Like, oh, I'll, I'll spray this chick. Yeah. yeah. You could uh, you could turn it into a 10 minute bit if you're a comedian. You yeah. Know, pressure yeah. washer fat. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, DraftKings is adding a surcharge on winning bets in PA. I deleted DraftKings when I heard this. Yeah. I, so, like, so, don't get me wrong. Football is about to start. But, like, this pissed me off so bad. Like, you're just being so greedy and just, like, gouging money from, like, people that are working hard. Yeah. And now you're going to put a fucking surcharge on, win? on her Who's fucking for, winning? Just DraftKings in general or the state? No, just DraftKings. It's DraftKings. FanDuel doesn't. Because they're, 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 they're getting... In New they're, York, Illinois, Pennsylvania, Vermont. Because they're, they're doing it on taxes or on states where they're getting taxed, like, o overly taxed to, like, be able to, like, gamble... Like to be having gamble license in PA, which you like, that's not our problem, bro. Right, right you but, make but enough. You're, you make but, but enough. But the thing is, and like the CEO was saying, he was like, I mean, on our bottom line, it really affects us, but it's like, it's, I forget what the percentage is. It's like, it's low, but like, it's still, it, it's, yeah, it's not that low, three to five percent. That's bullshit. And, uh, he's like, it really affects our bottom line. It shouldn't affect the winning back. They're going to have to like pull back on this because this, I literally, I like, I've seen this, I deleted it. Dude, and like, don't right, you don't you don't take there. anything off when we lose. Right. That's, no, that's, 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 that's what the gamblers always say when yeah. I lose. Yeah, I'm going right back to. You don't give me any of that money. No, but that's kind of like, so like in my business, for example, if you pay me with a check or cash, this is the price. If you pay me with a fucking credit card, the money I get charged on that back end of the credit card, you're paying up front because I still need to make my fucking money. You want to pay with a credit card. You have to pay the fucking fee. Right, there's a credit card fee. Yeah. Yeah. Credit card fees are ridiculous. But DraftKings, so DraftKings does that. If you use a credit card yes. on DraftKings, say you put it's a fifty, more, right. you you put you want to put fifty in, it's fifty five dollars to use Apple Pay. If you use your debit card, it, that doesn't apply. But so and now they're like they're paying additional five percent now. Yeah, I'm just saying, but the, nobody wins. No, you know no, what I mean? Sure, so, like, sure. get the fuck out of here, you pigs. Do, like, I was thinking That's about, like, just greed. Big, big, greed. Biggest, yeah. uh, biggest bet over here on DraftKings was for four grand. And just thinking they, they took 5% out of that, that would have been, like, what, $200. It's bullshit. Right. And, and it's fucking nuts. And, and, you know, all the mic. And then they're stupid for doing it because there's FanDuel. There's, like, 10 other things. There's so ESPN many bet. Other there's other, like, there's, you're not the only game in town. I know you're winning right now, but, like, this stupid shit. Can fuck you up, right? I'm you glad piss yeah. said, get everybody you else piss to off do the it. average Joe. Like the average Joe will bounce on you. Look at Bud Light. Yep. And dude, yeah. they, they were trying to. And that stupid. was just some transgender shit. Now you're fucking with the average Joe's yeah, now money. You're fucking with my money. Yeah. yeah it's like, different. dude, I, I don't like. I don't like. It's hard enough to win a bet. Don't you're not getting a percentage of that. Right. Yeah, finally, I won. When I'm yeah. pumping money into your fucking, uh, right. yeah. I'm losing money I'm right. for <laughs> 18 weeks straight. I'm literally bit, I'm down you're five you're grand for the year, and then right. you're gonna take some off the win. Yeah, Fuck you. You need a dick draft. Who's game. sitting in that board? It's Why could they have some like normal and people? They try to to sweep like, please don't do oh, that. It's only three percent. You know what I mean? The common folk don't give up, dude. The common folk give a fuck when it comes to wins. It's hard to win a bet. dollars, I'm salty. Well, dude, the thing is, they tried to sweep this under the rug. Like, this wasn't supposed to, like, be, like, and, like, it got, like, into, like, people's hands that were, like, read up. Oh, it hit TikTok, and it was fucking Oh, dude, but as soon as the dude wins a bet, it'd be like, and you guys win a bet. Like, wait a minute. I was supposed to get this much money. in January 2025. Ah, so January 1st. We'll see if it goes through. They're getting some major backlash. And, like, dude, I'm talking, keep talking about the common common Joe. Think about the fucking whale. That 3 to 5% to him is huge. Right. On a $25,000 bet. Right. Like, dude, like a dude like fucking Portnoy who fucking puts in $200,000 bets. Yeah. It's fucking, it's just, I mean, there's yeah. a million that, of those That 5% dudes. is enormous then. You know? Huge. Get the fuck out of here, you Just take your winnings. 
Yeah, you got, take yeah. your. You're already winning. That's why you have a site. Like that's why yeah. bookies have always been around because the guys don't. You don't win. The bookie that being wins. said, if you want to sponsor the podcast, I'll flip immediately. Yeah, that was the best <laughs> idea ever. Yeah, well, we'll start. It's five percent. Yeah, we'll really yeah, hammer that out. Yeah, we'll sell it the so other cheap. way. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, yeah. Speaking of cheap, this is this is about the, we're, we're, this is equivalent to what we were just talking about. Yeah. Uh, Denny's breakfast platters. I think you get sausage, bacon, pancakes, eggs, and toast. Yeah. A hell of a platter. Five ninety nine. Deal of the century. They just jacked it up to eighteen dollars. People Where? are outraged. How do you triple the price? They did. <laughs> five ninety nine is probably a little low. Right, but, the, but there's got to be a, a middle ground. Let's take, it to eight, let's take it to eight. Let's take it to eight. This can't be everywhere. What's that? This can't be everywhere. I think uh, I was in. I actually ate at Denny's in City, Maryland. This is and um, that didn't kick in yet. It's the New York Post. Maybe it's in New it, York. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, New York. You it's went still, over. You went to Denny's over the dough roller, dude. Dude, <laughs> it was a rainy day. Everything was packed. It was right down the street. The one bar, the place across the street, was an hour and a half wait. Denny's was fifteen minutes. I never, I, I really never you eat at the dough roller. To dough roller dude. I never you know, really eat dough, dough roller. I never really eat the dough roller. I never really? Really it's did. a dough roller. It's a diner pizza place. It's uh. it's average. <laughs> you got good breakfast? Yeah, they do have good breakfast. But look, look at but all I that mean, food like, you get for Friday. No, night. believe me, yeah. I wasn't happy with the Denny's, but I mean, yeah, I didn't see anything uh, eighteen dollar value. Gotta, you got to feed kids. Yeah, I mean that, that is a lot. That is a good amount. Of it's food a good breakfast. For five ninety nine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. for five ninety nine. Yeah, for eighteen. So what is it? It's, it's just it. bacon, sausage, eggs, and pancakes. Yeah, yeah, and some toast. That's a lot of fucking food, John. It's not eighteen dollars worth of food. Oh no, eighteen dollars is outrageous. No, five ninety nine deal with ten bucks. Yeah. Let's make it eight ninety nine. Right. We'll start there, then like ch- jack right. up another buck right. when no one else is paying it. Or you yeah. do it incrementally. You don't just be like, right? Okay, eighteen bucks. You, you know, know, there's old timers going there with a, like, you know, eight bucks plus tip. You know, that's what they yeah. They tip you, yeah. They They're gonna drink fifteen their coffee. cups of coffee. Yeah. Yeah. Sit there for three hours. Man, three I am the. I like. I don't. I'm, I'm not like wishing my wife away. My life away. Like, go be old. But there's something about a crew of old guys drinking coffee just like so with nothing to do during the day that I I really like can't wait to get to. Go to Kogos on a Saturday. That's what I'm doing. That's <laughs> pretty much who I'm talking about. And then when I lived in the South Side, there was a crew of old guys, like a big crew of old guys that fucking held on uh, Brugers, big Brugers crew in the South. Yeah, that, that that's a good crew at Kogos on sex. I, when I go to Solid. Flea, when yeah. I go to the flea market. I run into them dudes. Every, yeah, I've, but then the thing is, you you, you got you just lost twenty five minutes. You out can't of your day. if you got something to do. You can't pull it. Well, you got to no. just say, hey, what's up? What's hey, how you doing? You got you got to go to flea market. Right, you got to have your momentum out the door. Like, let, have a good one, guys. Can't and keep stop. it moving. Don't I, they stop. They give me on the way in and the way out. Yeah. There. I lose half an hour. Sure, mm-hmm. you like the bullshit. Though. I do. <laughs> I do. Uh, we had a New Jersey man go crazy on an airplane. Tries to have sex with the flight attendant. He skins the whole time, and then he tries to open the door. Uh, <laughs> people are just getting too fucked up on planes, man. Too fucked up on planes. So, what, what did he try to take it from the, the flight attendant, or what? I think was it like the Wolf of Wall Street thing? Where I he think just, so. Yeah, I think he got a little handsy. Started to try to like make out with her when she had no intention of like yeah. start yelling Trump twenty twenty five. You know what I mean? He was just he was uh. He was really going for it. I feel like it used to be like hard to get on planes, like fucked up. I, I, they must be not busting balls said, like they used to. He said he took ten edibles. Oh, without how, having any it. clue how strong they were. Yeah, so he was just fucking. Yeah, he, he was out of. Usually, the I'll just put you down. I don't know. Ten, ten. you on a, I, Yeah, I never. Actually, I, I never. Dude, took I don't know. Edible. People react different to that. Really really he just do. sat here in silence for like an hour to one day. Yeah, that's generally what it does to me. But I've, I've seen people like. The different lift energy. weights and do weird yeah. like get, get like get real energized. Listen, the only thing you gotta worry about me on the plane with edibles is I might not wake up. Get them off lands. the plane. Get me yeah. off the plane. Yeah. And I I'm, won't be able to walk. And, and I'm probably gonna harass you for snacks. <laughs> yeah. Um, like, yeah. Yeah. Dude, the best of one time I saw you at edible and we were at the pub in the park 
And I'm like, yeah, do the bathroom. Yeah, go, go to the bathroom, dude. It's inside. He's like, what do you mean? We're not inside? Yeah, I'll never like, forget. Oh, I was like, fuck. dude, I can't walk inside. We were, yeah, we, were, right. we were on the back patio, like, eating wings, having a good time. Like, dude, when he said that, dude. That was the best. He was just like, what do you mean? We're not inside. Like, look like, up, Shul. There's the sun right there. <laughs> I'm like, holy fuck, dude. <laughs> we had, like, a whole night playing, like, hanging yeah, out. Dude. They could get away from you, dude. They did, dude. They I really didn't do 10 can. of them. Fuck. I like to get my hands on some. Uh, Luke Holmes makes a uh, fantasy football loser. I don't know if it was his league or like another league he set up with I a think fan. It's his league, his, 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 yeah, I think it's his buddy's his league. The the losers have to get up and they have to sing uh, a song on stage at a Luke Combs concert. It's packed. The jam. I mean, yeah. Dude, That's kind of who knows what fantasy football is in here? Is this would be uh, rough. A fantasy football league with some of my best friends from high school for 12 years now. And last year we decided that whoever lost was going to have to come on stage and sing with me tonight. Now lucky for me, there was a scoring issue in the last game. And my two best friends in the whole world both lost. And they both have to come out and sing in front of you guys tonight. Come out here, fellas. Don't be shy. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> everybody get a nice look at their blue suede shoes because these boys are about to be walking in Memphis. So come on. They're shit face. Shit, I mean, you got it. Yeah, so, yeah. so shit face. I actually love fun. this yeah, idea. I would have, yeah. I mean, you know, we're. We're not performers, but we're not shy guys. So, right. like, we could probably get up there and fucking really ham it up. These dudes seem to do a good job of it. Yeah, they, dude, they're having the time of their life right now. Dudes yeah. are going to be trying and, to lose next year. Yeah, Luke Holmes is your best friend. Like, yeah. Yeah, you're winning already. Yeah. Uh, exactly. so we got we to beg our friends to be in a fantasy football draft. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it just won. Just, yeah, just one. one of them. <laughs> just one. You know who you are and you're listening. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. our one friend is trying to bail out of our fantasy football league that we've had for the past, I don't know. 30, 30 20 years. years we're dude. coming close to 20 we years. Were doing it might be, we yeah. were doing it when it was, it was like we were looking at a newspaper to yeah. see stats. Yeah, this has got, I would say this, I mean. It's got to be close to 20, 20. it's not. Yeah. I, yeah. At so, least. At least. And uh, our one friend's trying to bail out of it, and he's catching some heat. He's no, I think I think he he took a barrage today. You know what I mean? It's all right, Beezer. You can give us one Saturday. It's like breaking up with your friends, pretty much. It's like him telling us, like, "Hey, I don't I don't want to I don't want to spend time." Like, with I you mean, guys is anymore. he your friend anymore? If he does that, it, he kind of like break it up. He kind of does this every year because he doesn't yes. like doing it on Saturday, trying to ruin. I mean, my, we're getting drunk. Yeah, we're gonna it, drink. It has to be on a Saturday. It has to be on a Saturday. I'm not ruining my day Monday. I got to work. No, absolutely you can give up not. one Saturday. Come hang out with your friends. And you, every other Saturday is yours, Mishka. You'll ruin your whole football season. Yeah. If you if you don't get in it. <laughs> oh, we just, just I, oh. I knew this was gonna happen. Yeah. But like, Mishka, you motherfucker! <laughs> yeah. yeah, I, I know the, the three stages of Mishka. Like, dude, <laughs> dude like at the beginning, it's like it's not, he's not thinking it yet. He's real stubborn. He's like, dude, I'm not in it. Forget it. And then it's like get closer, like, dude, you know you want to be in it. Why would you not want to be in it? It's like the funnest day ever. And also, if you're not gonna be in it, well, that's one thing. But you have to like give Yogi time. Like, Enough time to fill a Real spot high, because yeah. yo, everybody wants them to be in it. So like, right. we know when the time comes. Even if I wasn't in it, I would still come like, dude, and hang out. It's the best time. Well, of dude, the year. if you can only you, you snuck away two hours last year, yeah. do your draft and get back. Get back. You know, you're going to do it. Just quit being stubborn. And then that two hours turns into four hours, and that four hours right. turns into all night. <laughs> <laughs> and then it no, turns he's, into he's tomorrow he's morning. Yeah, he comes and goes. Yeah, yeah. Me sure ain't scared. Of, yeah, it's just one of those leagues that's never going to be. Uh, a computer draft. No, so like the, the, I want to look you in your eye and tell you your pick. I stinks. want everybody to make fun of everybody and else. For everybody's their wife is just like it's just a pass now. You know what I mean? Yeah, like, it's, yeah. A yogi, it's a yogi draft, dude. Right? Like, I, I, online, know, if it was online, I wouldn't even want to do they it. Rose is like, expect. call me if you need a ride home. Yeah, <laughs> I, mean, she dude, knows I haven't ate mushrooms since the last draft because remember I thought I was in like a TV game show. I was tripping my. <laughs> <laughs> I, got ride home. I got the ride home and I thought I was being like punked by like a. I thought I was in a game show. Yeah, I thought I was in like. Cash cab type thing, and I thought there was like a fucking like uh, uh, a van following us that like was like recording us. I was like, dude, I uh, listen, the gig's up. I know I'm on the, I know like you're recording me. I know I'm on the show. He's like, buddy, I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Well, I'm never like, mind. The van. I was like, there's a surveillance van. I know, like, listen, I know the game. You're asking these questions. He's like, you haven't stopped talking since you've been in here. 
dude. And then I like got home. Lenny was so pregnant, and like I, I remember like my sink was like turning into like, uh, like comic book oh, metal. You know what I mean? Like, like, like I'm like, dude, this is fucking nuts. And I how just much room did you take? Way, too way much. too many. Cause look at we, <laughs> we. I mean, you just. I thought I was like on a, a dude. I thought the dude picked me up in like a spaceship, pretty much. <laughs> Like you not like a adopted. spaceship, but I thought I was like, dude, what kind of ride is this? It was like a fucking Camry or something. He's like, this is a fucking fifteen Camry. Yeah, <laughs> and like, and I'm like, did he did have like a lot of like he did have like a lot of like camera angles on the fucking thing? And I'm like, I'm like, dude, this is nuts. They're like trying to trick me. Like I'm on to this show. <laughs> like they, they just, I was like, you dude, call it off. And he's like, what the fuck are you <laughs> talking about? Like, so do I go to sign a disclaimer now? Yeah, and or I'm at like, the end dude, of the I was show? like, dude, I listen. I was like, I'm all fucked up. I don't want to be on her tv show and he was like bro <laughs> he's like, i'm gonna drop you off here yeah <laughs> thank god he didn't fucking, he took you to the hospital they, they took me he took me home and then fucking my house started turning into like comic book like, you, you like, a, like a marvel movie how was like, laney like were you like laney tell me it's gonna be okay and she was, she like, was like what are you doing i hate you she was like no 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 i yeah. wasn't like being like nuts yeah i like i was because she was like saying like she was like saying like her, her uh is it like she wasn't feeling well. We were like, please don't so, go to labor tonight. So like, but it was still too early. Yeah, you know I mean, it was really early. And so I was like, hey, what's up? Are you good? She was like, yeah, dude. Why are you home? And I'm like, am I not supposed to be like, why did I leave? I live you know here, what right? I mean? Yeah. And I'm like, hey, listen, and then, I still live here, right? Yeah. And then I just, I just like went in like in like this actually in like my my man cave room that I used to have before the baby, and. uh I just like watched YouTube videos and like drank Bud Light until I was like fucking halfway normal and f eventually like passed out. That's a lot. So that was the last YFL <laughs> draft, and like that's kind of where we get. Now. That's pretty standard. So uh, yeah, but I've been I've been eating shrooms since then. But you that's definitely a day you got to put in. Like, listen, drafts yeah, on the thirty first. I'm gonna eat shrooms. I miss, I miss, <laughs> the, dude, I missed a wedding before for the fucking yeah. Yogi football it's league draft. It's, <laughs> a, it's a day that we, you know, as a friend group, is set aside. And we take we probably take it a little too far, but the it was best fun. best was like, dude, like, dude started hammering me. She's like, dude, I drafted from prison last yeah, year. Yeah, one, <laughs> our one buddy had a full blown broken neck. Yeah, uh, he didn't know it yet. And then our other buddy was in prison, and he drafted. <laughs> and they yeah. both drafted perfectly. And they, but yeah, they're <laughs> both fine. They didn't bitch at all. He, our buddy from prison had a little bit of help from another buddy, but it worked out fine. And. uh you know, think about that, Mishka. <laughs> Brother in arms. Yeah. <laughs> not Mishka. <laughs> uh, Roberto Lulai in Gua... I don't know, do you know Dego's not to say this? Linguanato. Ling yeah, Ling that's pretty good, Chuli. This guy, uh, he invented tiramisu. He passed away at age 81. Oh, you guys tiramisu, it. guys? Yeah, yeah, I like tiramisu. Bro. I yeah, it. it's pretty good. But here's the thing. So, if, so you say you go to a restaurant, tiramisu is an option. Are you picking tiramisu like off the dessert menu or it depends if it's homemade or like you know made in the back of the kitchen type of shit i probably will if it's like the, shitty, the frozen type of, mm. type of stuff like yeah. it's still good don't get me it wrong is. but yeah. i'm gonna go creme brulee uh, see, i never go creme brulee. Uh, I, don't like creme brulee i don't not like creme brulee but like i'd much rather have a tiramisu but i'd yeah. also much rather have like a cheesecake i'd rather too. have cheesecake like uh, at, uh, a cheesecake like a a a at the a we're, even at the one restaurant uh Cafe, Rico's? Cafe Davio. No, uh, they got the tiramisu. It's like homemade, and they got the cheesecake with like it's like lemon and blueberry cheesecake or that's something. Unbelievable. I always homemade go for that one. But dude, unbelievable. if you're with somebody else, you're like you get that, I'll get that. I wouldn't yeah. mind if somebody else gets the tiramisu. Yeah. I, get, I get. All You'll, I need is two tiramisu's, two spoons with yeah. the tiramisu. Yeah. That, that's pretty good. But homemade tiramisu is unbelievable. That's the best they say in I Italy, they it's like raw egg in it, and it's like yeah, it's here. Like, is it better? It's just like fluffy. Does that make really? sense? Like yeah, the egg sometimes white it can is be just dense. beat yeah. raw. You know what I mean? And it's like it's just like creamy. more airy. Yeah. I yeah. got you. Yeah. I wouldn't mind trying that. My dad used to make shit like that when we were like younger. And then they were like, oh, you're eating a raw egg. Like he would yeah, beat, they, beat the shit yeah, out of it. Yeah, they can't sell it like that. Like here. So, oh uh, yeah, how could you? Well, I mean, all eggs now are like what do you call it? Irradiated or whatever. Pasteur like they're, well, they're pasteurized or uh, irradiated. They like zap them. Not, that's why the the egg doesn't grow into a fucking chicken. Okay. You know what I mean? Hmm. They nuked that motherfucker. Exactly. Uh, L. Bell, Lev Bell and A.B., they're on someone's fucking podcast, these two idiots talking. But they're talking about busting a nut before the game. 
and uh, Lev Bell was talking about how he loved to bust nuts before the game <laughs> and uh, how he busted a nut before the Buffalo game when he ran for like 300 yards later. Play this clip. He's Could you have idiots. sex before a boxing match? Could you have sex yeah. before a football match? Yeah. You're high as fuck. Me personally, I could. Yeah. So have you ever had sex before a game? Yeah. Can you give me a, like, what was a Le'Veon Bell game after he busted a nut on CTE? <laughs> that's 297. Against Buffalo? Buffalo. Wow. <laughs> Bro, you went for like 200 yards that game. You said Buffalo? Wow, I remember Buffalo. that game. Yeah, bro. So you think that's a myth about boxing yeah, and football? I, I think so. I think so. Because at the end of the day, it's about how you train your body. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> so you always was busting nuts right before the session. <laughs> it's not even that. I was always just busting nuts. <laughs> 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 what, what the, the fuck? fuck? Exactly. <laughs> Dude, these two could like still they could be wrapping up their careers like right now. Yes, just like, so with high. crazy They're numbers. So high. With crazy numbers, with crazy money, and they both just fucked Idiots. it up so bad. Idiots. They were both on the Steelers. Yeah. They never I won shit. The Super Bowl. Oh man! Now they're just talking to each other like we're talking, talking to each other. Talking about busting, yeah, yeah. right? But they're doing it uh, they're, with a big bank account. I don't know I don't if they are. I think, yeah, I, they I think probably, we're pretty they, level right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we probably make the exact same money fucking on our podcast. I have less maybe, debt. yeah, for sure. I think I, I take us to that one actually. Well, not that that part right now, but give me a year. <laughs> give me a year. Uh, Pitcher throws up like a lunatic uh, during a pitch. L look at this clip real quick. This dude's like in a windup. Pretty much projectile vomits as he's coming around. Uh, they call that so the puke much ball. throw up. Have you dudes ever, like, you ever throw up during a game? You yeah. ever had to shit yourself during a game? Anything I, like I, that? I, I threw up, like, after practices before. Never during Where's a game. Where's my right stomach, now? like, ever guy actually is not any sporting event before, like, a comedy show? I felt like I was going to shit my pants. You go well, you're a pretty, you're a pretty, pre joke shitter, aren't you? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I now like after that, like I always shit right before. I go, if something does it to me, well, like whatever it takes, brother. Yeah. I wonder was that a ball or strike? I, how fast? It looks like a ball. Or like, like how ball. long before the show? Like, dude, like so if the guy goes up before me and then I'm, I know I'm going next, I have to shit. Oh wow. Yeah. So if like he's only doing ten minutes, I got to get in there. Like I feel it coming. Like oh. Starts to move on you. Yeah, Those like, nerves are that adrenaline's going. Trey McDonough pukes. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think you told me that before. Yeah. Yeah, I don't remember. I remember before my first football game ever, I woke up in the middle of the night and threw up like a lunatic. You it, think it was nerves? I, but I don't really remember my. I remember like my dad asking me that, but like I don't remember really being nervous either. Like I, I, I was asleep, but I just woke up and like. Did he make it to the toilet? Like literally threw up all over my floor and like sick as hell. But like I never, I don't really remember like during a game or anything like that. We had a kid in GBA who was playing third base called timeout yeah. in the middle of a game and run into uh, run into the porter potty before I burn it down <laughs> uh, to take a shit and like the whole game we had to like sit in there, sit in like the while field this while this dude like yeah they didn't have like another player so he was like in there like taking a shit while I, we were just waiting to play again. That's that's pretty gross. But in his defense, like you got to go, you got to go. Uh, they said there was a dude in the Olympics. I don't know what country. Uh, they were doing the biking, whatever the fuck that's called. Uh, and it was like through France, and the dude had to take a shit, and he had to pull over, and he went into like a jam-packed pub, and like had to blow it up in the pub while uh, <laughs> while he was like in the race. That's pretty funny, dude. Yeah, yeah he just stands it up. And he's, he's delirious. Dude, yeah. he looks like he's like wobbling. He, looks he like just he went up. in there and did heroin. I mean, that's a ton of people. Good for him. Yeah. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta, what do you, you do? Up. Sit there and think about it for the next mm. 70 miles? Yeah. Or what? Like, I don't think that guy was in contention of winning there. He looked like he was in pretty rough shape. Or, or you're just, you either do that or you're a guy that shit his pants at the Olympics. Yeah. I'm sure that's happened. I would imagine Multiple there's times. been a ton you're of about shit. To win. Especially like yeah. weightlifting and shit. Like, motherfuckers definitely shit oh, their themselves and piss themselves. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, I don't know if this is a true story or not, but they said Trump got back to back Eagles on par fours the other day. <laughs> Uh, hold out from 140 and then 142. That's fucking like that's 
That can't be real, right? I don't know. He got. Do you think Trump's piece. just like winding down now, and he's like, "All right, start putting crazy stories out about me." Dude, he's on top of his golf know, game. Dude. Yeah, dude. <laughs> he, he, he listen, I'm not saying Trump's not a dude, Trump's he's a, with that bright. I mean, he he play, for, he's a, he, for his age, he plays really well. Absolutely, yeah. I'm not saying he doesn't. But like to hole out, John. Yeah, no, I mean it's from a, 140 and 142 it, back to back. It's holes, probably not true. Can't be. I mean, did he? Does he own the course? Then yes, he won. Dude, mm. 140s, 140 and 140s, yeah, yeah. still 140. You know what I mean? Right, that's, pulling out from like yeah, uh, 60 or 80 maybe that'd be different. But yeah, 140. That's even that's insane. That's, yeah, like that's a insane. Three basically. Yeah, but yeah, that's a story. Good for him. Decent. Yeah, I, if I'm Trump, I'm just starting to put crazy golf stories out about me. Like, I mean, then then like 10 years, no one really is gonna fucking give a fuck, and they'll be like, oh yeah, President Trump, the one time he did this, the one time he did that. <laughs> There'd just be all these crazy golf stats. It can't be like Kim Jong Un, where he said he got you got an eighteen. Yeah, but, right. Yeah, I mean, you, this did, game you, is, went too far. you You went too far, but if you start sliding, Listen, you got to make your lives believable. Yeah, babe. you start sliding these in here and there. Like, yeah, that okay, I guess. Kim yeah, Jong Un, right. I, I forgot about that. He shot an eighteen. It's all around. <laughs> yeah, eighteen holes in one. Supremely, a very good golfer. <laughs> uh, we had a Florida man wait five hours in a Walgreens bathroom. So when they closed, he could eat up all the snacks. What was it? We don't need to see it. I mean, uh, how much damage do you think you could do in a Walgreens by yourself? I, I, I'm going to be honest right now. You go straight to prescription I drugs. Believe, yeah. I don't believe he you was think, in there eating snacks. Uh, you think he's scripts? He was trying to get in the yeah. scripts. Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Then he didn't realize they had the chain they fence, had the fence over, yeah. on. He couldn't get it, so he's like, knew he was fucked. I don't know. They're pulling Reese's and shit out because of him. Because he couldn't ha- he had a cover. You need an alibi, yeah. babe. What are you doing in here, dude? Oh, man. But look at him. That's a face five that hours for some, love. Yeah, dude. five hours for some Reese's is it's ridiculous. It, 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 yeah, it, don't it, add up. You're you right. You could just steal them. Right. Yeah. Run out the store. You can have them right then. But, yeah. like, what does this dude think? They fucking close the Walgreens up and they just, now you have all the pills are just there. I think that's uh, what he thought. Be, 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 there was a time before the opioid uh, epidemic that people <laughs> were, were hiding in places and then climbing up through the ceilings and then like dropping down that's what he was probably intending on doing like climbing up in the ceiling in the men's room but like they got wise to that and they started like putting like the dividers be, between yeah. it yeah. yeah but I'm sure that was his game plan he, should, he should just got all snacked up went and chilled in the fucking bathroom waited them to open up and just walk out well, the motion sensors went off because uh, he was trying to get into the prescription drug area. Yeah. Man, man, that all, yeah okay. That all adds up. No, that. that adds up. We think you got a former heroin addict on the show. <laughs> I was like, dude, this dude was starving. There's auto and sons landscaping. Big enough to serve, small enough to care. They offer landscaping, pressure washing, snow removal, gardening, lawn maintenance, sod lawns, complete insulation, shrub maintenance, retaining walls, complete spraying services, and more. They put in the work so you don't have to. Transform your yard today and call Rosado and Sons Landscaping at 412-521-9045. Tell them Z-Bird sent you and get a special discount. Need the move? Call Miracle Movers, 412-419-2620. They're a team of experienced and professional movers dedicated to providing clients with the best possible service. They will work with you to create a custom moving plan that fits your specific needs and budget. They're also fully bonded and insured. So give Miracle Movers a call, 412-419-2620. Having electrical problems? Don't know where to turn? Call Vance Hall at Plug Electric, 412-298-6770. 412 412- Two nine eight six seven seven zero. That's Vance Hall at Plug Electric. Car problems suck, especially if the problem is too big for you to fix yourself. You don't know where to take your car and you don't know who to trust. Well, let me talk to you about Meineke Car Care, located at 4103 Kennywood Boulevard, West Mifflin. Oil changes, brakes, maintenance, pretty much anything you need is in their wheelhouse. So if you need a hand making your car problems suck less, call Meineke Car Care Center, 412-451-8968. Ask for Arthur. 412-451-8968. Are your steps and sidewalks starting to crack? Do you miss it when they actually look nice and clean? Call Giuseppe and Sons. They handle repairs and replacements. 412-421-6711. These are the guys you can trust to help you with all your masonry work in the Pittsburgh area. That's Giuseppe and Sons. 412-421-6711. 
uh, Mondays, it's wing night at Xanos from 6.30 to 9.30. You get dollar wings. Wednesday, taco night, dollar fifty tacos from 7 to 10 so that you'll be listed as you can go. And Friday, Dana's dinner specials is stuffed pepper starting at 4. We'd like to welcome atlas pest solutions their services include bed bugs roaches they kill termites fleas and bees and wasps and general pest ants and centipedes i he, he don't handle wildlife like raccoons and stuff but if you pay him enough he'll shoot anything <laughs> you can get a hold of him at 412-414-2948 atlas pest solutions at 412-414-2948 and tell him you heard about it on Greenfield's Finest Podcast. Dude's a beast. He did my neighbor. He, that's all I meant to do. Cleared it out? Cleared it out. He, he don't fuck around. He, he ain't trapping raccoons or nothing like that, you said? Yeah, I mean, if you pay him enough, he'll, he'll shoot anything. Shoot anything. Or, buddy, yeah. <laughs> he says I mean, so right in the ad. Yeah. He yeah. <laughs> says it right in the ad. He'll shoot anything. But, you know, he mainly likes to stick to bed bugs, roaches, termites, fleas, bees, and wasps, and general pests. Nice. Yeah, so welcome, well, welcome aboard. 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 Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenfield's Finest Podcast. We're about to jump into what's grinding our gears. Johnny, what's grinding them gears? Dude, I wear these headphones at work. Mainly because I'm, like, uh, for years I didn't. So I'm, I'm deaf a little bit. I'm a little bit hard of hearing. So I got these headphones on, and this, like, smart thing in my phone, like, every time I, like, turn it off and turn it on, it, like, tell, well, it tells me I'll, I need to lower the volume. I'm, like, yeah, turning my that. ears. And it does it automatically every time I turn it off and on. And I'm like, it's none of your damn business. How, I, I'm, I can't ears, hear it. That's why I fucking have to raise it all the way up. Yeah, I'm pushing the lawnmower. Yeah, right. right. There's lawnmowers on. Plus, I'm a little hard of hearing. <laughs> leave, me, <laughs> leave me alone. Mind your business. Mind your business, phone. Yeah. Yeah. It, does you know that, it does that to every. Yeah, it's right. Yeah, it I, got a, I must have an old phone. I don't have that feature. When I do, even yeah. on my speaker. It'll be like, there's too many decibels. Like, or according to our records, you've been listening to this way too loud yeah. for way too long. I'm like, it, honey, if I like could listen at a lower volume. The I damage would. is done. The damage sweetheart. is done. Yeah, this ship has sailed. Dude, I like, when we like, Lainey, like on our bed, I lay to the right, she lays to the left. My left ear is shot. She talks. I have no fucking clue what she's saying. It's just like, what? What? And we're repeating herself. And like, I just have to like say she mumbles. She doesn't mumble. I can't hear her. But like, w- I yeah, would, can't it, tell would her age, you know, do you go get the hearing aid? I'm no, not, dude. Uh, no, yeah, no. Well, yeah. Just be deaf, dude. Just yeah, be deaf. Well, we're like getting there with my left ear. Yeah, well, little sit to the terror sit on the right. Yeah. You know? I mean, listen, I'm not going to get the hearing aid. Anymore. Dude, <laughs> I, I jackhammer all the time. And I, especially when I was younger, I never wore fucking earplugs. Uh, was, now, I think it's and like been, cutting with a saw. Uh, like, dude. I, it takes me like a day to recover yeah, nowadays. The loud noises. And then, down and there. then I, I'm working with my dad. And he walks away. He's like, oh. <laughs> "What? I need to see your fucking face, bro. Yeah. Like you're walking away from me talking. I don't. You're speaking Australian or something. I can't hear you. I think Please look at me. I think working in all the bars and nightclubs for all oh, those yeah, years all got the me. Music and shit, yeah. Dude. yeah, dude. Like, dude, you nail know, when I when I do the Spearman Rhino Cage Rage. It takes that whole Sunday, like, I can't fucking hear. Yeah. The music's just, like, literally, like, boom, 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 boom. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah. We're old. Yeah. <laughs> That's like, Dude, sure. this isn't my gear grinder, but I'm, like, this, when you said this, I don't think I like driving at night anymore. No, it's uh, horrible. No. Dude, I ca- coming back from night. the golf outing on Saturday, it, like, started raining, and, like, the ways took me, like, some back roads. I couldn't see a fucking yeah. thing. Isn't that dude. terrifying? It was it, <laughs> it was terrible. There's no lights out there. Like I'm like I'm like keep saying hey, I'm like dude. Well, there's no. Am I not? <laughs> like, there's no street lights anywhere. Hey, he's like nah. It was like I, I wish I would just took 51 and fucking rode that. Yeah, down. yeah. Because like dude, I was like I was making bends and it was like raining. I'm like dude, it's, where this is dangerous. <laughs> this is fucking <laughs> dangerous. Like where I'm like should have jumped in the van. <laughs> I know. I wasn't drunk or anything. It was yeah, just like, I just couldn't. When it was dark, dude. No, but that's why, like, even now, like, I used to, like, driving, like, on vacation. I would go early. Like, far, I'll drive through the night. I don't care. Yeah. Now, I hate it. Like, dude, like, I can't see anything. You get you a little construction. Now you're down at one no, lane. No, I, I, most of the time I drive during the day, like, just because we're late. But I like it better if it's nobody. It's a whole other gear grinder. Yeah, like, dude, I'm driving. time for all that. No. <laughs> yeah, dude. But whatever. At least I get to drive, see the sights. I'm always like, oh, horses. Mm. <laughs> nobody corn. cares yet. Corn, girls. Yeah, so look. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Looking great. Uh, yeah, but I couldn't see a fucking thing on the way home on Saturday. It was nuts. 
I bought these glasses the one time. They're supposed to help you see better, like amp like them. It's like they're like the yellow hunters. Yeah, 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 I got them. <laughs> they don't do, do shit. No, <laughs> no I use them as weed whacking glasses. On, 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 on a commercial, it makes everything brighter. Yeah, and shit. I'm, like, Michael, I'm like, I'm like 15 bucks. I'm gonna like take 18, the shot. Yeah, yeah. AT glasses. glasses. They said yeah. the Navy SEALs like, we use about these. Being, we yeah. joke about being old like all the time, but we're not that old. It's like so, like imagine like our parents and shit trying to drive at night. It's gonna be insane. Dude, yeah. I, dude, when I was younger, we were driving down with Z-Bird. I was driving Ocean City. I got off of work and fucking started driving down. I had my Chevy Blazer and the the windshield wipers. Like, we're like the the motor must have been like been melt, like just broke. Yeah. So pouring down rain, no dude. Wipers. Every so often, I get like a swipe. But dude, I was going like ninety next to fucking like. Big ass trucks, like I didn't. It was dark. I didn't yeah, give a you shit. You don't understand consequences. No, Z Birds, Z Bird, Z Bird. I'm like, I just, I know my friends are down there. I just want to get down get there. there. Yeah. This says straight for a while. Did you get pulled over that night? Yeah, I got like a five hundred fifty dollar <laughs> ticket. Yeah, that was a good way to start the fucking vacation. Uh, that's the worst. Julie, what do you got? All right, so this actually kind of jives in with the driving thing. Uh, I was in Kentucky last weekend, and uh, on the way home, like it's like six hour drive. You know what I mean? So on the way home, you know how coming home from vacation already sucks, you know? That was a whiskey vacation too, right? Bourbon run, dude. Yeah. It was nice, dude. Maker's Mark, yeah. Buffalo Trace, yeah. Woodford Reserve. Spent a ton of money just on bottles of fucking booze like an idiot. Anyway, that's, that's that has nothing to do with I, just, I was just saying, you probably weren't feeling great on the way home. No, fuck no. <laughs> so it's like me in my court, it's like me, my parents, and Rosa. And then there's like two other cars of like family members. I got I, actually I give a shout out to the Baird family. They we had a great time together. Uh, but so I'm like coming through Ohio, about to go through West Virginia. I'm like an hour and a half away from home. Been on the road all fucking day, fighting a fucking severe hangover. And there's always like that fucking asshole. Like in Kentucky, it was like four lane highways. Ohio, it's like three, and then it like gets down to like two lane highways once you get closer to mm -hmm. Pittsburgh. And there's this fucking dude in his pickup truck, and he's flying. I'm doing like 90, bro. I'm just trying to get home. Yeah. You know I mean, I'm fucking boogieing. And this dude would like he was flying too, but then he would come and try to pass a, a like a big rig, and he was so terrified of him. He would go down to like 60. So we had a fucking line behind us, like a mile long. And then you would like in between trucks, you would try to get around him, but he's doing 90 again. He would again. pick it up again. I finally got in front of this dude. I fucking slammed on my fucking brakes, dude. I wanted to fucking kill this fucking guy, dude. I got my fucking hand out to him like, fuck you, you motherfucker, you know? If and you're I, so scared, speed up. and he, Or just get over. Just move or over. Or slow down yeah. and get just over. Just move the fuck out of my way, dude. Yeah. You're scared. No one else behind. I'm trust, like I get it sometimes. Yeah, but get away from him. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or, or like, it, all right, if you're scared to pass him, you got like, 13 cars in a row behind you move over in between the trucks let everybody else go and then you could be scared as you want when you pass them yeah. go 50 i don't care but it's just like the closer i got to home it was like the more difficult Annoying. it was like dude, i worst. just yeah. want to go home six dude. hours on a hangover is hell yeah, it's brutal oh uh, yeah i was about to be like dude i'm about to pull over and just fucking crack one of these bottles of maker's mark you shut know? up i thought about you it my really. dad was like boy you want to drink i'm like I have one hour to go home, Father. <laughs> Please do not tempt me. He wanted a drink. Oh, he he had a drink. On the fucking ride home. I do want a drink. That's that, you're the driver. He's like yeah, driving. I had, Shot? Yeah, right. Yeah. Shot now? Yeah. Yeah, he, I had this like. Ah, uh, there's no state troopers out today. Of like, uh, it was called like Sazerac Rye Whiskey or some shit. It was mm. from Buffalo Trace. So I bought I, It was like everybody's raving about it. So I just bought a little one to sample it, you know? And uh, somehow my, it got into my dad's hands. And I'm like. Goodbye. We're driving, and he opens a glove compartment and, like, pulls a bottle of whiskey out of the glove compartment. It's that by that bottle. And he smacks it as he went. I'm like, dude, I'm doing 90 right now. Like, so he wasn't, even, he he wasn't even drinking, like, a whiskey and Coke, like, in a... No, in no, a, he took a mouthful, like a, and cork like a, it, and put it back Stanley in a... Stanley or something. No, no, yeah. no, we were going white trash all yeah. the way, dude. We, we were pencil tucky, dog. That's, I thought he might Maybe he was like In a Yeti or something like no, that No 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 It was in the glove compartment Yeah That's awesome <laughs> Wait so you and your dad Are sitting up front Yeah and Rose and my mom Are in the back Yeah they're, they're fucking like Sleeping and shit Me and my dad Are burning them on You know on the way Especially on the way down It was nice We stopped at uh, White Castle in Ohio <laughs> We pulled over And fucking smashed A couple beers With our fucking sliders How And then we fucking Made it the rest of the way Yeah uh, How is uh, How's White Castle 
You know what? Uh, I, I actually, I think it's great. I like White Castle. I never had it. It's yeah. I've had it. So I've had like the frozen ones. Yeah. They don't do it justice at all. Like I don't, a fucking I don't White know Castle. If I had that. Get a twenty pack of White Castles, dude, and just fucking hold them. Sliders. Twenty pack. I mean, they're this well, big. Yeah, dude. they're like they're good. like three bites. So you could handle a twenty though. No, no. I mean, it was four of us. Uh, we got a twenty pack yeah. and fries, and they got like chicken rings, which are like <laughs> like light gummy savers, but they're made out of chicken. <laughs> wow. Good. That's a good time, you know? Sorry, good. Sounds good. <laughs> hey, bro, what do you got? So, dude, I'll make this real short and sweet. Uh, Addie's air conditioner broke in in the, in the bedroom that she sleeps in. So we don't sleep cause in the same room because I snore too much and I have restless leg syndrome. So, air conditioner broke. Got a new air conditioner. Went to put it in. As I'm putting it in, she goes, Do you think we should call a professional? What? And I'm like to put a window unit in, and dude. I, dude. I'm like, I just, I just got furious. Dude, dude, I was hurt. like, what are you talking about? She's like, we're just all these direct. I'm like, I got this. She's like, it's gonna fall. I'm like, no, it's not. I'm doing. You everything. don't think I'm capable enough to put an air conditioner in a fucking window, <laughs> dude? I was that like, would, that would infuriate me. And I was yeah. just like, and then she's like, no, all right, you got it. And then I'm like, I got this. And then I just like finished sealing it up, and I was like. Yeah, the worst is if she would have said that and pissed you off, and then you're flustered and you drop it out the window. Drop out the window. Yeah. Could you imagine calling another man like, "Hey, dude, I need you to come." That's what, that's what hurt my. That's what hurt. No, my, I, I need you, you to come and put my AC a window, window AC. unit in. Yeah, of course. If it's fucking yeah. a whole uh, yeah, if central I'm a AC, split in, yeah, then then call I'm a, a guy. Professional, yeah. right? <laughs> but she's like, uh, do you, so you think we should call a professional? And I'm just like. Like, what, what do you was, think of me? On? Yeah. She was like, well, the way you were like, why? I'm like, this you're, is like it. A, you're like semi handy. I'm pretty handy. Yeah, yeah. right. Dude, like, makes furniture. Yeah. Yeah, that's nuts. Yeah. yeah. Dude, I know you were pissed as oh, oh, Dude, man. I was at all them things. I was like, what the fuck yeah. did you just yeah. say? Nuts. That's nuts. Yeah, so that's my gear that. grinder. Uh, I got a gear grinder. We are at golf outing this weekend. The one part three uh, was Texas Row House. Roadhouse, and they were, I don't know, they were giving away the bags of peanuts, or you had to buy them, or what. Anyway, I ended up with two, like, bags of peanuts. Fire peanuts. Uh, so we're eating them, and like, I, dude, I know this course gotta be pissed, because there gotta be peanut shells fucking everywhere, I would imagine. Uh, but, I'm throwing in my mouth, I'm sucking on the peanut a little bit, yeah, I like then it. I break it, then I suck the you peanut gotta get out, the salt. Yeah. then I throw the shell. Dude, I'm riding with. It was like, dude, what the fuck are you doing? Trying to bust my balls about the way I eat peanuts. Dude. I was like, dude, a lot of people eat peanuts this way. Yeah. He's like, I've never seen anybody do that before in my life. I was like, are you insane? Never sucked on You've never seen never... anybody eat a peanut before? I was the, 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 the other dudes in a group, I was like, they're eating the whole shells. I see, I see, I see people eat the whole shells. Yeah. yeah. I've done like, it before just because I was tired of breaking them. I'm like, I'll try it. They are. I mean, dude, you got to be like outside or like over a garbage can. To eat like peanuts, a baseball game, you know, something yeah, like yeah. that. You're throwing them wherever the fuck. Wherever you're at. the fuck. But uh, yeah, he was just. You like, gotta suck the salt off the shell. Everybody oh, dude, that. it's the best. That's the whole reason I eat peanuts is for the salt. <laughs> yeah, dude, they were just so good. I got, I still got another bag. Uh but yeah, he was just like, my, he was like, dude, I came. He was like, what the what, fuck how does are he you eat? doing? I was like, he breaks them open, probably eats them. Oh, yeah, he just breaks them open and eats yeah. them. But then there's no so half the of them. Yeah, I was like, so, and like it makes it like, and it, you suck on them a little bit, it makes the mess. Cu- it cuts down up on the, a little yeah, bit. Yeah, it's off up. It makes cuts down on the mess. I just couldn't believe it. I was just getting like, I was like, what's going on here? See, I, I never really I did it enough? like that either. I was always just to break it up and then eat it. Listen, I've done both. Yeah. But like. Oh, no. I like the I like the. We salt. were having a couple beers. You know, salt fucking goes. Sucked this baby up. Yeah. yeah. It was nice. Fucking did I almost really hit you guys over day. there? What's that? Did I almost really hit you with a ball at one time? I definitely hit one in your general direction. I, I yelled forward, but. I didn't even notice. Then you guys said, <laughs> it was like, was that your ball that came over? Maybe. I don't hmm. know. I didn't notice. I listen. I was fucking hitting the ball everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> everywhere. Uh, but yeah, getting ridiculed for the way my peanuts. Whether a recent storm has damaged your home's gutter system or your roof requires an update, at Allen Construction, they are equipped with the tools and skills to accomplish any job you throw their way. Roofing, windows, siding, soffit and phasia, gutters and spouts. You won't regret calling Allen Construction. 412 412- 954-8337 or visit allenconstructionpgh.com that's a l a n construction pgh.com
Schaefer Inc.'s primary goal is to deliver unbeatable quality for all your construction needs. They aim firstly to be a company that is principle-driven and achieve this by valuing the importance of ethical business practices, creating exceptional relationships with both customers and employees. Their high standards derive from a focus to detail and a priority on their reputation. So give them a call at 412-915-1694. 412-915-1694. Need a new retaining wall? Call Just Walls, 412-889-4401. They're fully insured and are the guys for the job. That's Just Walls, 412-889-4401. Need help with roofing, siding, gutters, downspouts, or soffit and fascia? You should talk to SNL or Modeling LLC, 412-628-9717, 412-628-9717, and tell them GFP sent you. Capizzuto's Pizza, 422 Greenfield Avenue, Pittsburgh, PA. Do you like pizza? Of course you do. Capizzuto's has everything you need. Check out their food by Googling Capizzuto's Pizza Pittsburgh and click on their menu. You won't regret it. You know them. You love them. They have been serving the area for over 28 years. Greater Pit Tree Service. They offer tree and shrub trimming, pruning, and removal. Have a tree that looks like it could be a problem? They'll come by and access the situation. Schedule your service today, 412-312-4651. Want to learn more? Check out their website, greaterpittreeservicepa.com. Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Greenland's Finest Podcast. Real quick, just to remind you, we got tickets on sale for the comedy show down at 12 Whiskey Barbecue. You can go down there, grab a drink, grab a ticket. That's going to be August 30th at 7.30. Also, don't forget about we're going to be doing a Berg Bus August 24th, so we want to jump on that. And Cage Rage is August 24th. They moved it. I just got a text. They just they moved that. So that'll be if you went on the list for that, please let me know. Berg bus to cage rage. Yeah, be a nice night. Yeah, all in the North Shore. We last bird bus I did, I met seven people on the bus that came to cage rage. Did you really? I said, no, no BS. No BS, huh? Mm-hmm. Well, that's good. All right, now we're about to jump into what would Greenfield do? What would Greenfield do? Whoop whoop. Would you rather have the skill of a top Olympian gymnast? Or the endurance of a top Olympian decathlon athlete. That, I, I want to be a gymnast all day. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> I would want the endurance. What are you going to do with all that endurance? Well, I mean, the, the gymnast, don't run a gymnast. Do yeah, triathlons? You could do some, I mean. Well, I always think don't get no shine. Oh, that was a joke, Jack. Yeah, I, mean, I, 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 was, I think like a gymnast is like a chick, like doing cool stuff, like with her legs. No, like, did you see the USA dudes? Fucking the one little nerd with the fucking glasses. All he does is the fucking pole vault, or not the pole vault. What is the, the horse? The horse. The yeah, horse is horse sweet. Yeah, yeah, all he does is a horse. He just came out and fucking the like bars, the dude. Thing. Yeah, I love to do them uneven bars. Yeah, yeah. those dudes are jacked, dude. jacked up. Yeah, dude, you get the give me all the uneven bars. Yeah, that shit's yeah. nuts. The cat. What do you get? The run. I no, run there's a ten bit. different run, ways. swim, bike. Yeah, and then you're Jack fucking, off. and then you're fucking throwing that stupid fucking thing off, yeah. off your neck. Dude, That's did you see the one dude from America throwing a shot put? Dude, he was fucking enormous. Yeah, he's dude. enormous. He threw it like outside of the third line. Uh, was like like, with, like very Christ. easily, I saw that. Yeah, he had his neck then, all coked up, and, and then he just his, fired <laughs> it. The dude from behind him was also he's America. Like, had to give it everything he had to get like not even almost there. Almost there, yeah. But yeah, I think being a gymnast. Listen, you're gonna have a tough. High school is gonna be tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah not if you got a dick like that dude to jump over the fucking thing. Then you get to college. Thing. Yeah, I mean, you're gonna, you get, you're not gonna be, you're gonna find your own lane there. You're gonna be all right. Yeah, you get over to France. So you want to be man. a straight gymnast, is what you're saying? Yeah, <laughs> I, dude, I, I don't know. Like I was watching the U.S. men's. They, they all seem pretty straight to me. But I mean, how do you really know? Sorry, but. Vito. <laughs> <laughs> Till they find him in New York wearing assless chaps. <laughs> that was just a joke. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, you love going to Vito reference. <laughs> All right, we got another one here. Would you rather have a major black eye before every major life event, or spend six months in a full body cast? Black eye. Black eye. It's look way cooler. Oh, you can make up a new story every uh, time. Yeah, too. see the other guy. The body cast. Jesus Christ. Yeah. It's horrible. <laughs> Six but, months. Like, wedding you can't just say, like, this is my black eye. They'd be like, dude, it'd, no. be, it'd be like your wedding. Like, don't get a black eye, Jack. Whatever you do, don't get a black eye. And then next thing you know, you sign, sign, show up with, like, a black you eye. You ruined pictures. Black yeah, yeah, right. Listen, my dude, brother in law had a black eye at his wedding. But you love yeah, making up stories. Yeah. What happened? Listen to this one. You'll love this. So, uh, his bachelor party. I was too young when they got married. I could have gone to a bachelor party. And uh, they had, like, a party bus, picked uh-huh. them up, and they're ready to go out. Bus breaks down. 
They pull over. They go down this hill and they're like taking pisses and shit. And a fucking train comes by. And dudes are like, dude, there's no way. Someone says, oh, I bet you can't catch that train. Oh, so no. My brother was like, I, you you say he can't do something. He's, he's like that kind of guy. So he's like, of course I can catch it. So he does. He runs up, catches the train. Fuck you, motherfuckers. Ha ha. Jumps off. Stands there, and then one of them ladders came by and laid him the fuck oh out. Oh, my God. Dude, fucking busted Knocked his him whole, out? Laid him out. Cold, dude. Busted <laughs> his whole fucking head. How long, when, when was the wedding compared to the bachelor party? Like, four days. Oh, my God. Three days. I don't think so heard so this so Even better. So he fucking comes to uh, my parents' house. You know, my sister lives there, and he's like, she comes running the house. Fuck him. Fuck this. The wedding's over. Fuck that. You know, you know, Annie, she's fucking bananas, right? <laughs> so we're like, my mom, cha- she runs upstairs. My mom changes her upstairs. It's me and my dad. Brian comes in like, <laughs> <laughs> we're like, what the so fuck? So fucked up? Hat? No, no, no. He, he was, I mean, he was, his face was fucked up, but, but he was sober. Yeah, you know what he I mean? knocked him straight. Right. Well, no, this was like the next day. Oh, got you. So he's like. My dad's like, asshole, what the fuck did you do? He's like, well, we were taking a piss. I fell down a hill, blah, 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 blah. My dad was like, listen, you can tell my daughter that. You can tell my wife that. You tell me what really happened. Right. You know? So then he was like, all right, dude, I got hit by a train. <laughs> 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 oh, dude, I, I wish I had. I'm about to send you a fucking wedding uh, picture of theirs, dude. dude. He's all skinny and his fucking eyes like, whoa. <laughs> That's unbelievable. Was your dad dying? Oh, we were laughing. My dad was like, motherfucker, someone's getting married. I just spent 30 grand on a fucking yeah. wedding. Yeah. Somebody's getting fucking yeah. married. married yeah. With that fucked up face. Oh, dude, that is unbelievable. That's great. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, man. Hit by a train. I can't imagine. Like, oh, that had, and he had is, to get ta- leveled I know, by that I know this motherfucker was talking shit. Like, see, I told you I'd catch it. Jumped off and it said, boom, and fucking oh, laid him dude. up. <laughs> He's like, he didn't die. Yeah. yeah. It would have, like, fractured your skull, you would think, or, or, right? Or, like, you got caught. Like, you could uh, get drunk. Yeah. <laughs> wow. That's hilarious. <laughs> I didn't know that about... Yeah, and man, then your bir- your 21st birthday with the party bus, your parents were like, dude, enough of these fucking party buses. Oh, uh, yeah. And then so we got in that brawl, and Brian was like, I w- he was the oldest one on the bus. He was uh-huh. like, I felt like obligated to fight. He was like, I was, like, I was the oldest one there. I had to make a good example for these guys. Oh, fuck. <laughs> All right, well, that's, that's fucking good. Uh, that's a good story. Yeah, we're gonna end with that. Uh, everyone, thanks so much for tuning in this week to Group with Fathers podcast. Don't forget to tell a friend about that. Hit that like and subscribe button. Everyone have a great week, and remember, folks, Greenfield loves you. We're out.